Hello, and welcome to Courtesy Flash. Tonight, we're going to be playing a video game. Now, we're going to be playing Star Trek. Can everybody on Discord hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. He's like a T-Rex. There we go. If you don't talk, you can't see it. Uh, and, and everybody who keep, kept asking, I did put the music link in the description because I got a lot of people asking who made that song. That's uh, by Afterburners, a buddy of mine. Um, and he made that song specifically for a stream, so if you want to... Get that song, you can go do it. He doesn't mind. He just put it on your porn videos. He'll be fucking happy you did well, the something. The delay on YouTube is huge compared to Twitch. Yeah, well, hey, YouTube hey, sucks. You, you, gotta show him, you gotta show him the intro. Oh, I am. I just wanted to say uh, that we're gonna... I, I did a little thing for the for the video, for the thing, but I wanna I wanna actually get into the game first. Because I... you Okay, well, you'll understand so wait, why. you're gonna do this real Star Trek episode style, so there's five minutes. And yes! Show the, okay, got it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna really do this. Okay. Okay, well, let don't me... Wait, 
Don't we need a cold opening though? Yeah, we're going to. Yeah, we need a cold opening. We're going to, because uh, we got to. We have to go back to where you guys were, and also um, explain these new people that just joined us. So I'm gonna pop on over to the game. I, I normally have this thing set for stream window. Okay, cool. Wonderful. All right. Have you set for stream window? Thank you. All right. Uh, uh, hopefully I'm not too loud. Let me know if I get too fucking loud. I have... Boulder is MVP. Yeah, Boulder is MVP. All right. Uh, so let's go to, um... I must kill Boulder and consume his power and popularity. You we can't. can merge you. Or okay, can't cool defend Boulder. All right, okay. so, yes. uh, let's, let me just go ahead and get you guys left off where we were last time. I don't have any fancy, like, soft music for this. Let me try this song. Maybe this will be... <laughs> so, after, oh after their battle with the Klingons in the nebula near the Talos system, the crew of the Essis find themselves towing back their trophy prize, a Klingon bird of prey. What they don't realize, however, is that behind that bird of prey is a fleet of Klingon warriors seeking to hunt them down. What? Yeah, well, you guys picked it up on the transmission last time. No. <laughs> I mean, they, oh, they said they were coming, warriors, remember? Oh, oh shit. Right, man. Right. I was like, so I'm going to board them now and take out their hands So. Challenge their leader. Up, well. on, up on the bridge of the ship, we have our captain, who's sitting here currently with, uh, a whatever whatever you whatever drink of choice you want or no he's just smoking i'm gonna say you're smoking right now you don't booze a hole not it, yet it, i got an idea for that right. we're gonna do the okay, thing you kinda... so you're you're sitting there smoking uh you have your tellerite who who is constantly scratching the back of his head from uh shaking little glass shards out from all the constant beer bottles being thrown at him uh it's whiskey bottles well, yes whiskey bottles uh, and uh, our Orion Orion sitting there at his communications deck looking like he's busy, but like most, most people, he's just fucking playing Snake. Uh, <laughs> 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 he's just playing Snake uh, or something, like Galaga. You can kind of hear it behind you, but you've ignored <laughs> it. <laughs> wow, man, is playing Galaga. Yeah, you're just hearing him playing video games behind you, but at this point, it's like nobody's listening to each other on this ship. The crew... The crew of the ship, uh, there's a 50, there's a 50 amount of people on this ship, and most of the crew is afraid of the officers. They kind of stay out of your hair. However, um, right now, uh, you have Ross, uh, who is just currently, uh, walking around the ship, uh, I'm guessing doing whatever Chief of Security is. He's never on the bridge for whatever reason. Um, Grekek and Slar are currently in the engineering room trying to keep the engine from exploding. Daniels, Daniels is still laying on the ground. Um, basically, they're trying to maintain the warp core because, you know, they're traveling at warp while also being tractored. Even though the ship was designed for it, they're not exactly, uh, <laughs> well, it's not exactly a ship that lasts for very long. So let's just say it like that. Um, but anyway, so as they're going along, uh, somebody comes up onto the bridge. Um, and uh, the guy coming out onto the bridge is a red shirt ensign. And I'm not, uh, this isn't your thing, Goats, don't worry. Um, I know, I'm not an ensign. Right, it's a red shirt ensign. Uh, this is Yeoman Gates. Uh, and he's walking out on the bridge with, with a tray that just literally has uh, a glass of whiskey with three glasses in it. And he's walking up, and he's just like, Captain, I have to protest! This is just absolutely ridiculous! And and he's gonna look at him just with hate in his eyes? I, I mean no disrespect, sir, but do I really have to wear the skirt? He, he's gonna take the, the whiskey off the tray, and he goes, Man isn't born a bitch, but you sure act like one. <laughs> Why did you... <laughs> Orion said you told me I had to be up here on the bridge with this skirt on, and so I'm here. Ugh, this is so. Do you do you want? How, do you, how many fingers you want? And he, <laughs> he holds his fingers. He, he holds out his pinky and his index finger, and he's like two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so he pours a glass, and he's just shaking his head. He's like, Captain, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna vouch for your next physical. 
and uh, he he uh, just sassily walks over to the Tellerite. He's like, and for you, sir? Uh-oh, sounds like a lover's quarrel, Captain. Is your female getting too irritable? And he just turns his head away from you and walks over to Orion, and he's just like, this was a very funny joke. Would you like some alcohol? Always. How many Not fingers? <laughs> just one. So he pours him a little bit. Well, I bet you all are really proud of yourselves capturing a Klingon bird of prey. That bet you yep. makes you real feel real fancy. And he's just standing uh, right behind I, you, Captain. So he's just. I, I Orion will it. give a very confused look as he does not know what a bird of prey is. <laughs> I, give him, I, I bring him by. I gesture for him to come back over and give him my whiskey. Yeah, he goes over and does it. And then while, while he's walking over there. You're starting to get a message. Uh, yeah, the captain's gonna like be drinking his whiskey. He's gonna be like, <laughs> "Are we accepting calls at this moment, Captain?" It, he finishes his whiskey. And he's like, "Yeah, whatever." <sighs> New ship, who this? Uh, this is Starfleet Command. Uh, who is this? Uh, Lieutenant Orion. A oh, Lieutenant that. Orion on what starship? Identify I... yourselves. Captain, what's the ship called again? He just points to the plate in the corner of the room. Uh, <laughs> the, S plate, the plate is... S the plate S has S fallen S off, and it's just the park where it, mark where it used to be, and it's just gone. Somebody <laughs> stole it. Uh, we're SS Wall. Uh, the, the West X. It'll you work. are violating it, Federation space. Please I'll turn your ship around captain. now, or we will be forced to attack you. I'm sure we are Federation. Let me get the captain. I'll put it over to the captain. He's like, this is the captain speaking. What do you want? This is Starfleet Command. Who is this? Uh, this is Captain Horatio of the USS Essence. We are towing a Klingon bird of prey. Likely story, Captain. But on our radar, you're coming up as a Klingon warship. Why is that? Because we're towing one. You have five... You have five minutes to turn your ship around, or we will be sending a task force against you. Oh, I hope you do. And then he, he, he cuts the, the he cuts the uh, communications log. Wow, really? wow he, he, just, just, he just Horatio folds his arms. He's like, "Can't get quality help these days." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they don't even know where we are. Engineering con. <laughs> yeah, you guys might you guys might want to figure out why he thinks you're a Klingon warship. Do we uh, still do we have like a signal turned off or something? Uh, Captain, do we leave some sort of tracking beacon on this uh, thing on ship? Because I really wouldn't put it past us to. Uh... He, he just rubs his forehead and he's like, "Oh god, that sounds dumb." Yeah, it probably sounds like what the Klingons did. Orion to engineering. Cling, 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 cling. Yeah, all yes. you hear is the sound of someone smacking things, and you hear him say yes from a distance because he's too far Stupid away. Stupid Daniels! Do, do we have like a. Daniels, you do not <laughs> fit back together. <laughs> no! Is this Daniels' fault again? Let me call him. Yes! <laughs> Stupid you, you, Daniels! You want to call someone? <laughs> you got to call the commander? Uh, engineering, do we have like a thing on that shows who we are or something? Is that on? Under. Yeah. I'm not I don't believe in tra like if you want to be a tranny that's on you. Blinky thing that tells what ship it is. Yes, we have many. Is it on? Oh. Uh yeah, yeah. it's blinking. Yeah, do you wanna <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna scan it or anything? You want it off? Yeah, I'll Wait, start please, I'll, please, I'll run some sensor sweeps. Alright, who's gonna no. do the scan who's gonna do the scan? I guess since I'm sensors, I'll do the computer scan or the engineering department. Uh, since it's engineering, you might as well just do it from the engineering department. Oh, that's where the that's where the transponder would be anyway. Um, Slar, give me, do you want to, or should I take the honor? Uh, either one of you needs to give me a uh, insight engineering roll of complication two, uh, task one. You Daniels, go for it. I'll the engineering. Try to... We shall work together. Oh, <laughs> you yes. go for it. I'll try to heal Daniels. Uh, oh no! Drac rolls it. So he he didn't want to wait apparently for the for the. You go ahead. Ah, you guys. Rude. 
You guys want to go ahead? Um, so oh, you, I thought we were both doing it. My bad. It, it seems that your transponder signal has been completely overwritten by some sort of distant signal. Well, actually, it's not really distant. It seems like it's coming from somewhere nearby, and you are coming up as a Klingon warship. And what's even worse is that you are actually starting to detect the Federation's task force uh, on long-range sensors coming closer. I'm not uh, going to lie, oh. Captain. Warship sounds awesome. <laughs> well, what was hold the on. There? Before yeah. they say that, I gotta put my little reading glasses on and uh, <laughs> lean closely. Uh, nerd captain, might wanna check this. Uh, apparently, we are now a Klingon bird of prey, but I don't see any cloaking devices on this console. The captain looks like he's about to take his boot off and throw it at you. <laughs> Uh, also, there's, uh, one, two, uh, let's just say a lot of ships coming towards us. I'm pretty us. into feet. Yeah, the, the captain's gonna go, Orion, it, look, call down engineering and have them unfuck that. And he points at the Tellarite and he goes, you, shut your fucking fuck hole. And then he, he says, <laughs> and give me more whiskey. Captain, I just called them, off. it'd be kind of weird calling them back. Call them again. You. And he okay. says, and get Ross to go down there and fuck up Daniels. Uh, I'm Captain, this is Cargo Bay? Oh, God. What? Uh, sir, you know the cargo that you had us transfer from the Zukov? Yeah. Uh, yeah, one of them's a cryo chamber. There's a guy still alive inside of it. I don't want it. W should I send it to the med bay? Yeah, whatever. I, I would and ask I would ask Ross, but he It is adjacent to engineering. Sir, I, I, I don't mean to say this, but I would ask Ross, Thanks. but he, he well he punched my predecessor and he's been out for I, I don't since the last star base, so yeah, please yeah. don't tell him I called you. Okay, bye. And then he hangs up. Orion <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Ross, we just got an unapproved call from the company. <laughs> just tell, yeah, tell. you're gonna you're gonna tell on him and be like, where did it come from? <laughs> This is Ross. Uh, who was it? Yeah, cargo bay. They found a person in there. Yeah, that's twice now. All right, I'll head down there. Okay. Um, so you guys are going to go to the um, third floor cargo bay, um, and you might want to bring. And I still all... have that rugby gear on. Yeah, as you walk into the third floor cargo bay, um, you find that there's no one there because they knew you were coming. Almost like they can hear the belt <laughs> coming down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> These walls are not well insulated. Don't go near our minds. Uh, and so, so there, oh. so, so there's no one there. But you definitely see an uh, a, a Archer era, uh, an early Federation era uh, cryo chamber. Uh, one of the few. They didn't really make a lot of these. Um, and the front of the glass is completely frosted. Well, the reason they didn't make many of them, there wasn't much from that era worth preserving. <laughs> <laughs> well, the flight suits. I would argue the flight suits because those were fucking yeah, sweet. Yeah, those were actually. They had pockets. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take out. Let me look at my inventory real quick. Now, now keep in mind, this is water. also a medical procedure. So if you do anything um, without, no, the, I'm just going to take out my uh, scanner. Oh yeah, your tricorder. Yeah, you can open up med your bay. little leather satchel. Uh, yeah, give me an insight science uh, task roll. Uh, complication, uh, both one. Oh, I can't even on the, uh, click on my Insight, science, task roll one. Mm -hmm. uh, complication, complication one. One. And you don't have any focus on that, so. No, I don't. Oh, cool, you pass. Uh, yeah, he, you detect that it's, uh, definitely a human, uh, and... It's definitely from about 60 or 70 years ago. Gross. And it is still alive. <laughs> He's going to call the uh, communications officer. Go for broke. Go yeah. <laughs> for bro. <laughs> this is uh, Ross. All the cargo techs fled. Um, also, there appears to be a human in this pod. Uh, they're still alive. Um... Could you send the engineer and the medic Gorn down here? <laughs> just tell them to like. I love how you say it's medic, the medic Gorn. <laughs> can, you just, oh, yeah. can you describe him for me? I was trying to say. I, I can't get a good visual. There's too much frost. Oh. Cobalt needs to talk. What do you want, Cobalt? What's up? Uh, I've, I've been trying to say, uh, 
Med Bay is on the uh, very opposite end of the ship from engineering with mm -hmm. the cargo holds right between. I would probably be stomping right through the cargo holds right about now. <laughs> are, are, you the, are you the engineering Gorn or the medical Gorn? He's medical. I am, I am Med Gorn. He's chief Y'all medical Gorns officer. Look the same. No, you, chief surgeon. Tech, I think you're the same, right? Are you slow? Where Keck heard about a medical emergency. Yeah, help me, help me pop open this pod. Oh, hey, there, nice. somebody flushed the toilet. Rick has fixed the plumbing as well. Did we flush the human? <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong button on the <laughs> Ross is just taking a dump while he's waiting for him to show up. <laughs> so, no, you I'm flushed the guy out of an out in into space. And <laughs> <laughs> Our ship is shaped like a toilet, so... Um, to the magical emergency. But, but yeah, yeah I asked Rick Rick to open uh, the pod, or shall Gurkhek simply carry the pod to Medbay? Uh, just, just open the pod. Doesn't need medical. He'll be fine. Uh, your cake is going to, um... Is that professional experience, or is that a command from your <laughs> from officer? All medical are trained in how to kill, so you know what to not hit. Um, how do you want to approach this, Grokak? You are the chief medical officer. Uh, I, I, I just said... Med bay if you want, but I, I, I just said... It. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear yeah, you. Can hear. Yeah. Okay. Grokak is going to, um... Rip the front of the uh, cryopod. Oh, you're just gonna rip it open? Yes. Just grab the grab the door and pull it off the hinges. Uh, give me a fitness and uh, engineering roll. Uh, this is gonna be a complication range of two. Task roll one, and no focus. Hell yeah! Oh, nice. Yeah, you rip the thing open, and a bunch of fog kind of goes. Pss out into the cargo bay, and much to the surprise, well, maybe not the surprise of Ross, uh, as the door hits the wall and leaves a big mark. Um, inside the pod is a is a man, uh, looks like to be early Starfleet, uh, wearing the blue flight suit from that era, uh, and he appears to be asleep and slowly uh, beginning to wake up. No patient will be transported to med bay. Good worker, Kek. Thank you. We have a med bay. Yes, we do. Well, it's somewhere it's quotation marks med bay. <laughs> Grikek will um, pick up the man out of the pod and gingerly carry him to me. Okay. Oh, arm. <laughs> I was beamed into this chair and I've never left. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I. I used. To, I actually had med bay noises, but they're a little annoying, so I took them out. The um, med bay noise is just people screaming and someone. <laughs> No, the med boy Norton. It's a. It's that like. Doom, doom, oh, that stupid sound. Yeah, it. It like at first I was like, oh, that's nice, and then after like three seconds of listening to it, I'm like, okay, my ears hurt. Um, that even is that noise. It's the sound Perfect. of someone's heartbeat. Um, so yeah, you you place him on one of the beds, and uh, what do you do? You got to wake him up somehow, if you Hammer. want to. <laughs> well, Shake I can, I can give him the old uh, dry cord real quick, can't. Um, yeah, you don't even need to pull out your tricorder. You have your uh, medical devices there. Uh, what you're going to do is use um, reason and medicine. And this is going to be uh, complication range one, task roll one. This is this is simple for you. Yeah, uh, you, you uh, use your medical devices and find that you just need to give him a uh, basic uh, combination of compounds to wake him up. Ah, Grokek will uh, inject him with one hand and give him a uh, light slap with the other. So you inject him, and you slap him right in the Whoa. face, uh, and then uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Nick, your character, wakes up. So after, uh, after being slapped in the face? Yes, after being slapped. Oh. Uh, you've been given, like, a, an, uh, a fucking uh, stimulant, and you've been slapped in the face. So my character bolts up, and uh, it has like the hand cocked back, <laughs> and sees and sees a Gorn, and and doesn't ah. make like you know how when people are scared and like startled they don't like scream they just kind of go like ah! <laughs> makes that noise and bolts for the door. Uh yeah, so Helmut just runs for the door. No, he doesn't. 
Phaser set the stun. No, well, you're not there, <laughs> Ross. You need to catch him. Uh, Restrain uh, him. You we'll need to you need, to, you need to call some... Uh, Grakek needs to let I, you know that he's running. You didn't even follow him to the... Yeah, I did. Me. I said I follow Grakek. Oh, did you? you did? Yeah. I didn't hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Well, I'll say. Well, I'll say that I'll say that you just were really slow, so you weren't there. Oh, but you, I, but you definitely are in the hallway. Like, to... like would I, would I pass him in the hallway? Um, you you do run across a couple of crewmen who are just staring at you, going, "Are you okay, sir?" Oh, oh if I, so if I see another, are they like I... human crewmen? Yeah, they're mostly human. There's like maybe <laughs> one. So... Trying to talk. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Cobalt. Oh. Uh, I, I was going to order the um, medical staff to restrain him if he bolted for the. Uh, you don't have medical staff. It's just you. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah. so, I assumed sucks. I had some uh, whip flat, uh, whipped uh, intern. No, you'd Daniel, have to. But he's down. You do okay, have I require Daniel's more medical staff. He does have medical staff. It's just a really long stick he hits people with. It, yeah. <laughs> Caduceus. <laughs> You're... Okay then. Okay then. I'm going to uh, follow this man wielding my medical staff. <laughs> <laughs> so you're chasing him with a stick, and you're like, "Come back!" <laughs> yeah, so, well, so yeah, Helmut, you're running through the corridors, freaking out right now. Um, and you can actually, if you look at roll twenty, you got um a bunch of diagrams. You could tell me where you like to run to. So, uh, hang on. All right, I'm not oriented to the ship here. Uh, let me. Where's medical here? If I'm looking at the inboard profile, um. Engineering. There's an auxiliary control on this fucking bucket. Ugh. You know, it's like just a room with a fucking circuit breaker. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> help, me, help me out here, Mike. Where's, do the, not pull. where's the uh, where's the medical? Uh, I'm actually not seeing it myself. Uh, far oh. right side, right below the bridge. It's far right two. side, right below the bridge. Oh yeah, Our yeah. Quality. Yeah, there it is. Okay. It's right, medical so slash that. science lab slash phaser banks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's so, so <laughs> yeah. yeah, so yeah, someone's like getting, getting surgery uh, and then they're like stand by phaser power. <laughs> the guy's, the guy's well, like fucking ICU fails because <laughs> the power's are running. It's yeah, like browning and, out. <laughs> it's all Grakek too. Grakek is the only one managing all of it. That he was once awesome. human, but that happened. Oh god. <laughs> That is fucking brilliant. All right, so um, I guess there's not like a hallway really there. It's just yeah. kind of like straight out to that main turbo lift. Isn't yeah, there's it? a there's a turbo lift. Um, but you so, run across um, a couple people who are like, "Are you okay?" So I'm running past these people. And I'm just like, "I'm dangling! I'm dangling!" And I'm just like bolting, bolting for the like. Uh, I'm looking for like any kind of alarm panel that I can pull. Yeah, the fire alarm, yeah. like to alert people to a border on the ship. <laughs> Intruder alert! Intruder <laughs> alert! And the and the captain is gonna go. Calm. What the fuck is going on? Oh, he is a patient. <laughs> only reta only restrain. Do not kill. Yeah. Uh. So you guys just keep hearing the alarm go off while you're trying to ask him. Oh, Ryan going to on. Ross. And and I'm trying to get yeah, to the camera lift. What's going on? Uh, he, the patient, the, yeah, he, he, he saw Grakek and he got scared and ran off. I'm chasing him right now. Stand In pursuit. Uh, <laughs> Captain, Captain, apparently the, the, uh, patient was revived and has saw our Gorns and ran away. Grakek's the, medical expertise is intimidating, he knows. The, the, the captain just holds his temples and he's like, all right, here's the orders. Find him. And duct tape him to a chair, and make sure he touches nothing. I, I, it, I let Ross. Do, do I hear that. this? Yeah, yeah. You got but it, sir. He, he adds to it, and he goes, "You have to understand, this man's from caveman times. He doesn't understand our sophisticated by quarters." You're receiving. Were you around back then? You're you're hearing a message coming uh, in, but not for your ship, if, for the Klingon bird of prey that you have in tow. No. If, if I hear all of this, uh, I'm going to grab a chair as I follow this man and carry my staff and my chair. <laughs> so, <laughs> menacingly towards. So while they're I'm... chasing, they're chasing Helmut down. You guys are getting a message on the bridge. 
I'm gonna, before I answer, I'm going to roll up my chair over to... I have actually a rolling chair. It's not pinned <laughs> down. Right I, I roll my it. chair over to the captain and uh, pull out my fake phaser and light his cigar. Yeah, thank you. And then I'll every time my... they take a hit, uh, everybody else does that fake fall, but he's just like... Woo! Yeah, I, just fly around. <laughs> I just fly around the room. All I can uh, see is green Xerxes, and like it's like the whole ship rolls to the right, and he just like dabs into his right arm. And just like... <laughs> <laughs> so everyone does that horrible rock thing, and then he does the dab and just rolls across the right. <laughs> like the third time back and forth, he starts spinning. Do you, so so let me let me ask you do you answer this yeah i'll i'll go over there and i'll listen but i won't say anything i'll just open up this is chancellor good talk who is this oh yeah. answer uh, me uh, uh, captain the, yeah the captain's like uh this is uh klingon uh captain uh jim and jimmy all he hear is this no, Kalis. Kalis, that's a big important name. That's that's Kalis, all that's, that's all good talk in here. He can't really hear he can hear just enough of your voice, but he can't hear what you're saying. And try Jimmy, to clear up that interference. Jimmy Kalis, that's who we are. Yeah, you want to try to clear up that interference? <laughs> yeah, it's the focus. Alright. Uh it's funny because you're like the communications guy, but clearing up interference is like one of the hardest things for you to do. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. He just spins knobs until the distortions get louder. Hey, <laughs> one, of, one of my values is being liked Oops. is better than being good at something. Uh, control uh, security. Or sorry, not, con uh, not security. Control um, engineering. And uh, give me a complication range of two, task roll of one. Um, actually, no. No, that's, yeah, that's fine. I'll just take that. Yeah, yeah, you're able to clear it up, and uh, he's just oh, that's like, what that this is does. Chancellor Gutak. Who is in command of the Klingon vessel we are contacting? Uh, Jimmy Kalist. J Who is this? Uh, Identify hey, yourself. J Jimmy, Jimmy Kalist, uh, serial number, uh, and then the captain thinks, and he's like, seven. Hold six. your position, our fleet is on its way, and then he clicks off. I'm gonna roll over and, to Drac and be like, "Hey, Drac, do you have like a, a sharpie or something? I want to make yeah. sure that knob is marked as interference clear up." Yeah, <laughs> no, and yes, I, I, and, and Nick, eventually that will happen. But hold on one second before uh, we get to I, that. I, I, here, it's green, just like you. <laughs> and I I'll hit him smell it as I roll back. Uh, it smells like some sort of alien guava fruit. Hmm. I'll lick it. It, however, um, tastes like what's Probably. It, what's that? Oh, yeah. Right next to one of the knobs I use. Interference plus. Um. Okay, so yeah, uh, Nick, you're running around down there, and you're starting to calm down from seeing all of the different people, eventually. Coming down about drugs. Yeah, and then you run up at the hallway, and at the end of the hallway is Ross. Oh, hey, buddy. Du musst mich helfen. Ich, wo bin ich? Was ist passiert? Es gibt ein, ein riesiger Gecko oder so was in, in... Is there automatic translators on these ships yet? So uh, I'm cool. going to tell oh, him in uh... Question. Right. I'm going to tell him in perfect English, stop resisting and stun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really perfect English. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna stun him? Delivery? Yeah, yeah, phaser. <laughs> if you have it, I'll appuke you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you stun him. Uh, let me see yes. here. Uh, Ross, give me a. Uh, you're going to give me a daring and. Uh, let's see what I got Ooh. here. Yeah, daring yes. security, please. Yeah, because he's got to do okay. it off. It's off the cuff of his thing. It's going to be a challenge roll, so you're going to give me complication range two. Uh, challenge dice, uh, too. And because focus you're... because it's phaser? Yeah, yeah. You're getting two dice as well because you also have a lot of training in that. Hell yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, phaser you... Uh, yeah, you, uh, you, you barely just graze his shoulder, um, with it. Um, Nick, you feel a little bit lightheaded from just the ambience of that beam as he, uh, as he fires it right at, um... Let's see here. What do we got here? Let's do this one. Fires it right <laughs> past your face. 
<laughs> and the only reason why you can only feel a little disoriented because he had an extra, um, he had a uh, an effect on that. So you do feel a little bit disoriented, but um, you're also trained in tactical uh, battle. So um, what do you want to do? Is uh, I, I guess we're in a corridor, so there's nowhere I can like dodge to. No, you dodged it. He missed you completely. No, uh, well, I mean, like, there's nowhere I can like grab cover. Like, no, an alcove no. or anything like that. All no. right, I'm gonna. I'm not going to try and, like, disarm him and take the gun away, but just get it out of his hand. Like, okay, you're, his hand on the floor. You're going to give me the same exact roll. Damn it. I, had, I did have that, that thing song. where he hits my wrist with his wrist and the gun goes flying. Yeah, Daring well, <laughs> and what was it? Daring security. Uh, it's going to be complication range two, challenge dice two, and you can use a focus because you're also you're, you're about as trained as Ross Campbell, so... Mm -hmm. Yes, all right, and I hit the little Starfleet button next to Challenge Dice to roll it. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, yeah, you, not only do you disarm him, uh, you actually uh, crack his wrist, his firing wrist, uh, and then he falls down onto the ground, so what do you want to do? <laughs> so, um... You're standing over him. So if the phaser is near me, I'm going to kick it away. Okay, you get that. I'm not gonna have your roll for that. You just kick the phaser away, Ross. Looking you're looking. Good. You're looking up at this very angry German guy. You could tell he's German, not just from his accent, but because his Enterprise era flight Maybe suit has a German logo or the German flag on his shoulder. So I give him the knife hand. I'm like, <laughs> you do not speak the German. I'm going to show him why the Americans won two world wars, and I'm going to <laughs> <laughs> take him to the crotch. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to I'm just going to lash out with a foot and kick him as hard as I can on the crotch. All right, give me the exact same roll you just did. My this is be a fucking hilarious. Uh, you oh! you completely you completely wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm going to use. Uh... You don't have a momentum. No, but I do have something that lets me buy dice for threat. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll do that. Do you really want to give me threat? You guys are about to be attacked by fucking Klingons and the Federation. And you're doing this to win a fist fight with a crowd? <laughs> <laughs> America! Are you gonna it's give... for America. <laughs> it is for America. Get it's back down for America. I'll do it. Okay. God. Yeah, go ahead. Maybe if you want to go ahead and do forward. that, uh, you get what, you'll get one. <laughs> Just change that challenge dice to one and then roll that. It's gonna be the same difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not only have you just given me a free pass to do something fucked up, but now you guys, uh, now you just completely missed him. So, uh, so Nick, after, he is completely at your mercy. Uh, I'm not so going to have after, you roll whatever you want to do. Break his neck. So after he whiffs two attempted kicks to my nuts, I just kind of shake my head and I hold my hand out to like help him up off the floor. Oh, I thought Aww. you were going to like elbow drop his head off because that, that's what I would have done. <laughs> <laughs> He'll roll his eyes and just grab his hand with his unbroken wrist. <laughs> I'm sorry about your wrist. I was very scared. So there's a giant gecko in the, in the med bay. <laughs> he slapped me in the mouth. This is very concerning. But am I? Please help me. Uh, Let's go to the bridge. As he, he a, said, ignoring the yeah, question. You guys are go so you guys are going up to the bridge. Um, And then, I, I don't know if you saw that message, Drac. But that's yeah, I saw it. And then I said to him, that's no control port, that's my wife. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> what are you going to say to that, uh, Captain? <laughs> he's he's going to throw a bottle at his face. Uh, yeah, you're going to give me a roll for that, because that's a, I'm just going to keep making you roll every time you throw shit at him. Uh, <laughs> just imagine that in Star Trek, where he's like, that's not a control port, that's my face. Ha, ha. And then, pfft. <laughs> yeah, give me give me a fitness and security uh, complication range uh, to task or sorry challenge one. All right. Uh, yeah, it smashes you, against the screen. Yeah, it just smashes it. against the screen. You see it go all staticky, and it doesn't stop being staticky. <laughs> <laughs> Like you, you knocked you knocked loose like an HDMI port or something. So now it's like super <laughs> fucked up. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna smack it a few times. See if that does anything. Yeah, you guys run into. So yeah, you you. Uh, so what did you, Grkek? You run into them in the hallways before you say that thing I sent to you, Drac. Um, Grkek, you run into them in the hallways. Oh hey, Grkek. Hey, can you fix my arm? Behind them. Yeah, Nick, you see this giant lizard man who slapped you in the face. 
uh, come around the corner. <laughs> Human Ross, have you killed another one of my patients? Uh, no, not this time, not yet. Why did you Excellent. slap me? That was very rude. Also, you're scary. I've not seen. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the land of the living. I wasn't, I wasn't Clinton. dead. I was asleep. This is a cryopod. <laughs> have you not seen one of these? <laughs> uh, that would Rick be a no. <laughs> frozen people. <laughs> frozen life force. <laughs> Rick has attempted to wake many of them up. <laughs> yeah, did <laughs> probably microwave most of them. <laughs> <laughs> the microwave works um, adequately. Defrost on five minutes. <laughs> oh, man. This is great. I'm just kind of side-eyes Ross. This and, ship does not just... have a microwave, so I improvised. <laughs> How many pounds? Cord? <laughs> um, well, so, you, guys, you guys are going to go up to the bridge, right? So well, I'm, I'm just while he leads him to the elevator, he'll be explaining. Uh, yeah, Starfleet has. Uh, he'll make sure uh, Grikek doesn't hear him. Starfleet has kind of lowered its standards. They're allowing aliens now. It, it's it's pretty. Simple. So, but this, yeah, uh, so yeah, Grikek. They just like lead, he walks into the elevator and Ross just shuts the door in your face and then just keeps. <laughs> wow. My third door is the captain. Be like, Captain. I was going to reset uh, turbo lift to the bridge has been activated. Yeah, he he uh, uh, he yeah. Um, he was gonna reset your wrist, but you just shut the door in his face, and you left him there. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, is, the elevator back down. Yeah, is off. standing there mashing the elevator button angrily. He like. Yes. It's because the ship is so shitty; it has one turbo lift, so you have to like wait as it's on the Oh, that's the worst. What is this? Twentieth century. Yeah, um, but yeah. Engineering to con. Engineering to con. <coughs> uh, this is con. Why do you keep using too much power to turbo lifting? One at a time. <laughs> oh no! Is one of the fat lizards in there again? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Drac. That message. All right. Uh, I'm behind. I'm under like my console trying to get the fix, and I go, "Aha! I think it's on." And then when I get to look at it, there's a lot of red dots, and uh, it's usually not a good sign. And uh, I, I look back at the captain and say, uh, "Sir, uh, one. Two, how many ships constitutes a fleet? Uh, <laughs> more than three. Well, then we have at least two fleets after us, and they don't look too friendly." And as uh, he says that, the that's when Nick walk or er, as Helmut and Ross walk out onto the bridge. Uh, Captain, do you have your vaccinations up to date? Why? I don't know what that is. The what? The German? That's a human? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you just yeah. They walk out on the bridge just as Drax says. Uh, I read of smallpox blankets. He he comes out on the bridge just as uh, you guys say that, and. Uh, on uh, Drax radar, you can see that there's ships coming from in front of you and from behind you. What a good cold open. Sometimes you just gotta be the cream between the Oreos. Alright, now it's time. Yeah, the cold open is complete. So now we Literally, just Literally, we opened a cold one with the boy. <laughs> Spass. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Essence. It's our mission to pick up space garbage. Yes, we're garbage men. This is our last chance. If we fuck this up, we're going to prison. So I say fuck it. Never give up. Never surrender. Uh, nothing. Uh, just the we entrance. we just played the the little intro. <laughs>
All right, so now you guys are in the. This is your. This is. This will be the. Uh, just a heads up. This will be the session that's uh, probably going to be the last one for this act, um, because it'll be an. It's like it's like Star Trek. There's an episode. Uh, it's episodic. So, the next episode will be about something completely different. Yeah, well, it's all episodic. It will come and go, and that's the beauty of Star Trek. Exactly. Okay. So now you have you you have all of these blips on your radar, uh, you, but they're far away. They're still light years away, but you can detect that you have Federation ships coming from where you're heading right now, and you have Klingon ships coming in from where you just left. And even worse, we have a crowd on the bridge. Yes. you have Now you have this very confused, out-of-time man who's standing on your bridge. Uh, so what do you guys do? What's the interaction he was here? very disappointed. Well, what I do is I send the elevator back down for Grakek. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I, I'm, I'm going to get our medical officer up here because we need to diagnose the shit out of Fritz and make sure he's not full of bombs or something. <laughs> no, just fascism. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the so... Most contagious of bombs. So, so yeah, you and, and yeah, this is all you guys, so I'm going to let you guys figure out what you're going to say. Um, And yeah, you can send a power surge to whoever you want to down there, Psyduck. So wait, yeah, someone's in the engine room. Like, can I blow this up from down here? Uh, basically, Sorry, that's what he there. sent. He's yes. like, can I can I send a power surge? I'm like, yeah, you can do that. Fucking send that's whatever what you I'm want. Getting. Oh, goo. <laughs> All right. The that so, so the captain is gonna smoke a cigar and he goes, "So, um, can you fix a view screen?" <laughs> uh, I am I am the tactical officer. Why does the bridge smell like uh, alcohol? Yeah, uh, that's a tradition. I'm always blasted. <laughs> it's kind a of a cold day in hell when you see yeah. a German pushing alcohol. That's, 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 what's, what, no. What are you talking about? He's like, step you up to my drunk? level or step off my bridge. This, what, you, you opened me out of the pod. Why am I here? What? what well, I don't know. Why were you shit? floating around in garbage? Your ship was garbage, and they put you in the fucking frozen things. They didn't preserve much from that era because that era sucked. <laughs> Let me catch you up to the 23rd century. We're fighting the Klingons. We're the Federation. The Federation rocks. We got Tellarites. We got Gorn. We got Orion here. And he high-fives Orion as he says it. <laughs> like, yeah, Hell he goes, yeah. We got, we got wheelie chairs, we got transporters, we got motherfucking warp five. Are you ready to get on this ship? Are you ready to suck dick and blow off into space? Get I'll on the off. tactical console and shut the fuck up. What? I'll push off with the high five and do spins back to my <laughs> I, I also want to point out, Nick, in your era, uh, warp five was the maximum you guys could go. And also, uh, Starfleet wasn't this loose. <laughs> So you can do Only the since five. Orion wow, that's uh, really that incredible. Was... We could do that. E <laughs> and you can't go faster? It's very impressive. Also, you're all drunk, and you cannot run the military, but... Uh, no, no, he stands up as you say that, and he goes, Not everyone is drunk, only I'm the drunk, because I'm the motherfucking captain. Now, you can either get on that tactical console, or you can find out what Five Fingers said in the face. <laughs> oh, yeah, slap. I've never heard that one before. Maybe you should go back to whatever time I'm from. Slap that again. <laughs> Anyways, I go to the tactical console now because I do not wish to die on this. What What is this? Is this so this? in front of you is a console that has a bunch of Jolly Rancher light-up buttons and... <laughs> And, and all of these different, like, uh, things that are just sort of in front of you, you do recognize some of them, but for the most part, uh, yeah, they're a little bit, uh, different they from what you- They make horrible noises. <laughs> they make clicking oh. noises, whereas back in the Enterprise era, for some reason, you guys were fine with having touch screens, and then somewhere in the future, like, no, everything's analog, man. <laughs> just walks up to it, and he's fiddling with the buttons, like, you got and then as one of the buttons you press the power goes out in the kitchen yes <laughs> captain is is there a torpedo vefa on the ship no what no we what have a single ship is this what what all right garbage. he's like he's like are you familiar with the term garbage scale these are here and moot ship yeah um and moot ship we're, we're one of those, on, but as a tractor Com beam. most advanced combat ship of my era, and now I'm on a garbage ship that does not even have... To, do you have faces? Do you even know it's a czar? Yeah, we, we have two. Um, oh, two, two phaser arrays? I think we used them once. Array is a strong word. Yes, array is strong. Array implies more than one. 
Do you have to Slar, have you uh, rerouted power from the turbo lift? This thing is slow as hell again. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, just uh, just then, Grekek walks out onto the bridge as well. Well, stomps out oh, hey, of the bridge. <laughs> I, I would I would walk up right behind the German and place one hand on each shoulder behind him. Very awkward. <laughs> I apologize, Captain. My patient has escaped. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and make sure he doesn't have any diseases or whatever the Germans were traditionally. What was it? I don't have diseases? What are you talking about? This is very there, He's probably got worms or something. Right. Whatever the Germans Sorry. were traditionally. We have a Nazis, deworming sir? pill. We can do this. <laughs> Nazis, that's many years ago. That is very incredibly insensitive. Uh -huh. Are you an officer for the security? This is completely unprofessional conduct. Uh, he's, he's the first officer. He got his job by hurting people. This is the area you live in. I suggest you adjust. I have also, we have no area. ship's counselor. We only have alcohol. Choose and, your friends carefully. Hey, Get off my bridge. You remember the Forget tactical... the ship's counselor hey, as well. Hey, Captain, remember the tactical officer from Enterprise? That's that's kind of what he looks like a little bit in terms of, like... I'm pretty the sure... The like, is hygiene. Hygiene. I like talking to <laughs> He I'm listens. pretty sure my wrist is like swollen to twice its size now, and he's just standing there. I'm like, yeah. Slur to captain. Slur to captain. Yeah. Go for broke. Uh, the fridge and freezer in kitchen is broken now. Yeah, the kitchen is completely uh, offline right now. Oh my did you god. You want anything saved? He just holds his head and he's like, <gasps> all right. I need to calm bridge stat. Okay, you calm bridge. You're on. This Captain, is I. You're going to ruin the dinner. Why is no, no, no. I'm, I'm Orion. Kitchen? Who's this? Yeah, you got to talk to Orion. He's communications. Right, Orion. Why is there no power in my kitchen? You're going to ruin the dinner. Uh, hey, hey uh, the Captain, family? dinner's not ready. I was making the spaghetti carbonara. You do not understand. You're on with the captain. Oh God, just, just okay. Look. Look, we, Captain, is there an emergency? No, Do you need I, the security I, on the bridge? It, it, Kevin just holds his head. And he's like, Alright, engineering, fix the fucking kitchen. Just fix it. Just fix the fucking kitchen. Grazie. He, I'm he, bringing he points, you a wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, he points, and he's like, Fix Ross's hand, because the crowd broke it. Because Germans break everything. Like Europe. And then he points... Okay, is checking the German to make sure the German is not going to break us just by existing. Yeah, and he's know. and he's uh, uh, scanning the German up and down very awkwardly, like every inch of him. He's like, just fix Campbell's arm; it's all fucked up. And and then he, he goes, okay, and, and he, find he... out why this ship is appearing as Klingon. I don't care what you have to scan or break. Just do it. Uh, and yes, sir, Captain. Captain. And uh, he he immediately drops the tricorder and uh, walks Captain, over and grabs uh, Ross's wrist. While he's doing that, he's like, Captain, if I may, the Klingon shut off our tractor beam and our teleporter. It's possible they've overrided the transponder, maybe? Or maybe theirs no. is just too powerful and it overrides no. ours. No. That sounds Ryan. dumb. Sorry, <laughs> Ryan. You're dumb. Right. Captain, what if the Klingons yes. overrode our stuff like they overrode uh, our teleporter and other things? So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to from the warp core. It's either the Klingon we put into it or uh, someone's trying to override our. Uh, something weird's happened to the warp core. I, I don't know how to handle all this information. Can you please just slow down and say short words? <laughs> it turns out the red alert earlier sent the Klingon war party that was hiding on our ship into action. Yeah, Two that, things. No, that's no. really what happened. No, that's Either old Klingon has clogged injection wrist. port, or someone's taking engine power from warp core. This is bad. Someone's stealing from Captain, us. Captain, we're losing warp power, I guess. He just, he sighs, and he goes, okay, we're gonna have two teams. Three teams. Three teams. Just Captain, as you're saying that, Captain... Next... Shut up! Here's, here's, no. Your ship just here's goes two. to a complete stop, and the bridge starts to dim. I'm cool. We could Captain. have four teams, that is more than three. Slar to arrive. There's nothing. You're you talking to talk the captain about. now at this point, Slar. Yeah, that's the captain. He's, he's like, In engineering, fix it. If if I send Campbell down there to burn your face off, it's gonna happen. <laughs> we have a well, here? someone stole our power. I can't. And then find out who it is and charge them rent. Look, we gotta get this thing working. <laughs> okay. He's like, I don't care what you have to beam into that engine, just do it. And then he, he, he goes, okay, 
Second team. Fix Ross's arm. Ross, yeah, I want you to dig through with the crowd and find out what the fuck is on board that is causing these problems. That is your job. Take the Italian with you. I don't want him <laughs> sitting there cooking shit while we're burning to death. And we're not burning oh, to death. Sarah, what if it's Stanley? <laughs> now that he knows uh, Starfleet is coming. No, Star uh, no, Stanley's still in the brig. He's fine. No, I, I put Stanley in the kitchen to cook our food. Oh, that's, that's right, you I did. Oh, yeah. I didn't even. I thought he was still in the brig. Well, I mean, like I'm there, so if he tries anything funny, it's not going to go down well. Yeah, he's the head chef, so think Gordon Ramsay like levels of I will fucking kill you if you mess up. Well, the soup also, plan. I have like pretty good uh, fitness apparently. So yeah, I, he, he's and also carried the. Uh, Straight red. He's also stirring a boiling pot of meat sauce. He'll just throw it at him. Yeah, you're yes. all of his heat. All of his heating coils have shut off, so nothing's cooking right now. All right. So the, the teams are going to be engineering team, fix broken shit. Oh, that's that's team well, thank one. You. Team two is medical team, fix broken crew members who are then going to go on a search to find out what's breaking our fucking ship. Team three is bridge team. Bridge team is cool. Bridge team is going to stay Hell on the yeah. bridge. And I just throw up like an okay. <laughs> I hold up the bottle of whiskey. Yeah. Um, Grotek so angrily yeah. manhandles Ross's wrist into uh, position. Ow. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so let me see here. Uh, let's get Ross's Rick's, uh, wrist fixed first. Grotek, I'm going to need you to give me some medical roll. How are you going to fix his wrist, first of all? Are you going to go to the med bay, or are you just going to pull out some bullshit med kit that you had hidden in your ass. Oh yeah, bullshit med kit and uh, traditional. You do have your medical kit. staff, so that counts. Yeah, the med the medical staff braces it while I pull it over the medical staff back into position. Yeah. Is, is there such a thing as assisting? Like, can I? Because I do have medical skill. German, come pull this Only, arm with me. I you, you. I do have assistant. If you, Ryan is a great assistant. If you do want to assist, it would only be if he wasn't a medical person. He he's not gonna Ooh, okay. he's not gonna be fucking this up. So, so I have I have the pack tactics talent. I, I don't know if that applies only to combat. I have combat. Like, I have combat this only. Talent. All right, cool. Okay, so as I was. Yeah, it's, no, we're not using Boulder. Um, because that'd be a really <laughs> bad idea. Uh, we'll use Boulder no, we soon. Have medical staff. Boulder's here. He's one of the star. He's one of the stars of the episode. Anyway, Someone um, has tape like uh, fucking communications. Okay, uh, so you're gonna give me a, uh, give me a control medicine roll there, uh, Grikek. Um, give me a task roll of one challenge dice, one focused use complication, one all the ones. Uh, your challenge dice will oh, actually yeah. be two. That's fine. You you oh, pass. It, you crack his wrist back into place. It's still a little bit swollen, but now you can actually move it. It's a little bit painful. Do you want to give him anything for the pain? Uh, does he look in pain? It's totally up to you. It's up to you because if if he's in pain and he tries to use a phaser, I have to take away some some challenge there, or well, add some I challenge. Have two hands. Yeah, that's true. Right, right now his like face is a, a bit pale and his, he's tight lipped. It's like, mm, yeah, that's pain. <laughs> that is how most humans look. Okay, at so so from Slar, uh, this is what you're gonna do to determine the power drain. Uh, give me a uh, reason and engineering roll. Uh, it's gonna be a complication range of one. This will not be hard. Challenge dice of two, and you can use your focus. This should be pretty easy. So just okay, challenge size two, so now do I yep. Oh okay. Just roll. Yep. Alright. Uh so essentially you you at first you're like, I can't seem to locate it, but it seems to be coming from a nearby outside source, almost like it's been put along the tractor beam. What? There's just some asshole assistant out there in an EVA suit. <laughs> but it's Daniels again. It's got to shake my I head. Use, uh, engineering or science to figure out what you just said. I I don't. I'm not smart. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. You basically uh, you're detecting the power surge is coming along. It's, it's being sent along the tractor beam. Uh, Sorry, Captain. Beam. You're on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Captain, somebody's draining a warp car from the other ship. The captain narrows his eyes and he goes, I'm the only one who's allowed to fuck this ship up. <laughs> All right, go over there and kick their ass. 
the German raises his hand. Captain, I am trained in the boarding actions. How does he raise his man. hand? Is it one hand and is it straight? <laughs> 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 I need no, to know how much danger we're in. <laughs> just a more just a more conventional hand raise. Captain, okay, just my making people sure. are specialists at war. It's okay. It's all right. You know, you never know. Crouch activated. Deutsch, <laughs> land, <laughs> Deutsch, land, 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 just so that way you can have some experience as to what kind of challenge this is going to be. This is a full. No, no. What here's here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna because that's obviously the sign of the biggest fucking problem we have, and that's probably also the cause of all of our transponder looking like bad guy people. And we're about to be sandwiched between two fleets, and that's the only way we're gonna be able to do this. So here's here's what we're gonna do. And here's the thing. I want to send the two lizards, aka Team Lizar, and the Woo. German over there. I want as well Campbell and the Italian pa My sweet... name is Palladio. Campbell and Captain Pasta Noodles to go <laughs> around and sweep the ship the one. to ensure there is no bullshit on board. I and the reason I'm the not ship. putting the German and the Italian on the same side is I don't want to see one betray the other. <laughs> 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 Okay. I know bring you the wine, Captain. So I let me get. Uh, let me get this straight. You want so you want Ross and the cook to search the ship while the team Lizar goes over to the other ship to uh, look for whatever's causing this problem. Well, okay, boss. I follow you. We find the, the borders. We uh we we cut them up or we uh just just to do it the punch. He's like, look. If there is something on board fucking the ship up, I want you to cut it into a million slices of bitch aroni and throw it out the airlock. Unless it's one of us, then don't, I do it the wet do work that. for you, boss. I do this for you. My, my people, you see, we, we made the mafia, yes? Uh, yeah. That and... is so insensitive. I'm gonna report you to HR after this is done. And and also, he's like, on and he unfolds the razor and he's like, so Orion is business. HR, unfortunately. Uh, I, I would also like to point out that, uh, Ross, you might want to follow any leads that you might think be, could be causing problems on this ship. Um, and, yeah, that's... Daniels. Y whoever. Uh, Daniels can't <laughs> move. <laughs> Daniel can't move, so he's not fucking doing anything. You know it's not him. So but you can go over there and shoot him if you I want to. Him. It's no problem. <laughs> is, uh, is Stanley still there, Cook? Uh, Grekek will get Ross in a headlock and stick his neck with a hypo spray to relieve the pain. <laughs> Do you? So, so, it, so it's like forceful medic, like. Pssst. Yeah, he's yeah. just like, here you go. Yeah, before uh, before <laughs> I do what I'm thinking, I want to know if Stanley is like still in the kitchen, and I'll give a description of him to the. Like... Do you want to call down there? Yeah, I, I I am. Are you calling down there? Okay. Yes. How do you say it? Uh, hey, cook. I'm looking for a particular person in your kitchen. Uh, and I'll give a description of what Stanley looks like. You you probably saw me bring him in there yesterday. He's talking to the Italian. I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, I'm looking for a... Yeah, crew member Stanley is. I brought him down there yesterday. Perhaps the you saw him. Yeah, him. Is he still there? Yeah, uh... He is, a duck he is, he is a very good cook assistant. He gets very nervous when he see me handle the knives. He is right here. You, I put, I put him on for you. St oh, oh, okay. Stanley. Yeah. It is the Ross. Yes, <laughs> like the little walk. -up. Yeah, and then a guy comes on. He's like, "Uh, sorry, Commander. He has me confused with somebody else. Uh, Stanley uh, left about two hours ago, and I haven't seen him since." Oh. Bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, th thank you. Uh, I'll I'll make sure to beat you less hard than normal. Yeah. Oh God, this is why we never go near the comm systems. That's what the crewmen, all almost all the crewmen <laughs> on the ship say. This is why he, we he, he went to uh, he went to the spice cabinet to cry. 
You want me to find the the borders? I find the borders. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the border is Stanley. If you could go like cut off a couple of his fingers and drag him back to the kitchen, I'm also you need to you need to look around the ship for him uh, with uh, him. I join you. You look around on your own. You uh, yeah. become uh, the how you say the uh, frag incident. Okay. Yes. Uh, Make sure, uh, I don't know if we have any more suits left, but if you can, find a riot suit and uh, just join me at one of the maintenance hatches. I don't we'll need a riot suit. suit. Just slow me down. I join you. All right, I oh, go up okay. to where he's calling me to. <laughs> All right, and one last thing. I'm going to call down to cargo. Uh, there's nobody in cargo. Really? Yes, it's completely empty. Or at least that's what you oh. think. As nobody picks up. Hey, uh, Orion, can you do me a favor? This is Ryan. Can, can you call down on the cargo for me and tell them that uh, Stanley, the uh, prisoner, is sabotaging the ship? Uh, sure, I'll ping cargo. Okay, so you ping cargo. <whistles> You're on. Hi, this is Ryan uh, calling for uh, Stanley. And there's just silence. Nobody picks up. Uh, Don't worry, I won't tell Ross that you're talking to me. And again, nobody picks up. If you're in there, I don't really care. Um, yeah, uh, nobody still picks up. And as you're doing that, um, your sensors, Drac, uh, show that the ships are getting increasingly closer. All right, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to go down to cargo now. Um, Grekek and Slar and uh, yes. the, the German all head to the transporter bay. What do you guys do? Uh, well... First thing Slar does, he takes Boulder, who is dressed in engineering uniform now with tricorder attached. <laughs> he will place it on transporter beam one. Bay one. Keep in mind... This uh, is Boulder. Yeah, keep in mind, Helmut, you've never seen... You don't know if Boulder is just... This guy is crazy, or if Boulder is like a sentient being you've never seen before. Helmut just kind of waits until the Gorner like, turned around and otherwise occupied, and he just kind of leans down and he like taps the boulder a couple times and stands back up really quick. <laughs> kind of looks at it. It's a boulder. It's, it's a boulder. It's, yeah. It's actually a boulder. You, you determine that it is definitely just a boulder. Um, just, a, just a boulder. So you put it on the transporter pad? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you're going to try to beam over to the Klingon vessel that you have in tow? Boulder goes first. Always loyal, always ready to take first hit. Okay. Yeah, okay, Zabolda, yeah. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, control, give me uh, control engineering, um, complication range uh, one, uh, task roll one. The Germans also had a Boulder. It was called the Panzer Kampf Wagen 4. That would be the Koenigsteiger. That's yeah. a very good job at sit in one spot and do nothing. And we'll get we'll get to the ship's search. Um, oh no! <laughs> Oh no. Wait, was it challenge <laughs> or task roll? I lost Boulder again. Uh, you no, you don't you, uh, you don't really you lose Boulder as he just sort of reappears back on the transporter pad. You, you, he got the triumph thing, didn't he? Whoops. It's only a triumph if you have a one. Yeah, he, he he just had an effect. He didn't lose Boulder, he just kind of like he kinda of like went I'm worried I'm gonna transport, but then he didn't set a target lock. Oops. <laughs> You're I'm the best engineer. Yeah, give me that same role again. Wait, he's the best engineer, and that's what happened. That's set. Yeah. Okay, so, so uh, I just want to. Transporters are very difficult to operate. Mm -hmm. I just yes. want to throw out. I taped a phaser gun to the boulder to make it look menacing. Yeah, and this is a this is a task of one, uh, complication of one. I'll give the uh, boulder uh, a little rugby so helmet too. A task roll or a challenge dice roll. Oh, I said it as challenge, then. Yeah, I meant, sorry, I meant task roll. It is a task. Okay. So, reason, engineering, task, compilation one, task roll one, yep. no focus. Understood. Roger, roger. Yeah, transporters are more of an art than a science. Uh, God damn it. I'm yeah, you. To sweat a little bit. <laughs> you just sort of <clears throat> kick on the. But then it just stops. Yeah, Does anybody else want to try transporting? <laughs> Round three! He doesn't uh, let anyone really. touch it. Three! <laughs> so maybe you a shuttle German to to our or expertise perhaps, at transporting. Uh, okay, so yeah, you transport the uh, boulder over there. And on your console, it shows that it is a successful transport. 
You guys look over at the Slar now, and you just realize that this guy had tried to transport twice <sighs> now, and only on the third try was he lucky and got it over there. <laughs> this is this is Helmet why just looks Boulder first. Boulder can uh, handle this. Now, now he is locked on the location, and we will be safe. Yeah, you transported him right to the Klingon bla- uh, bridge. Helmet yeah, looks at the other Boulder, just kind of like motions rattling around to... the fucking engine, okay. like a uh, shoe in a dishwasher. <laughs> oh, I so next one's a transporter. Yeah, go go ahead. Yeah. We are ready. Well, they're safe. <laughs> okay. Because I'm, I'm going to uh, shove helmet towards the transporter pad as I. Want so to. wait, you're, you, we've we've proven. Okay, so just so I understand this, you're like, okay, we we sent an inanimate object. All right, it made it. Okay, next, send the German. That's one <laughs> <Yeah>. step up. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I want to point out that in his era, they did not like using the transporter at all. It was like one of those things where, like, oh god, p- putting a person on there—that sounds fucking dangerous. Yeah. Uh, so, so you just watch these guys do something that you were told in, in Starfleet to be only used as an emergency, and they just barely passed it in an era where it's supposed to be easy. <laughs> so Grotech there's is just no giving shuttles. you... There's, there's no shuttle. There's a shuttle bay. Mm-mm. Shuttle is just giving you they don't a have a shuttle. Toothy smile. <laughs> Slar gives a thumbs up with, like, one of his three fingers. <laughs> Slar is an expert. Yes. All right, what? so Slar, you can get on the transporter pad, and you're just going to roll, but it's going to be for the crewman that you're telling him how to fucking do it. Oh. So give me that roll. <laughs> Slar sends other two first, then Slar go. No, you're going to go on there with them. Uh. <laughs> Slar goes. As Slar walks away from the pad, and the crewman comes in. So, so he is a transport export, yeah? He is new, He's... but good. No, what? What? Previously, she... Kitchen. Hit it! Hit it! Yeah, give me that roll. Shit! <laughs> Why am I shit so bad? <laughs> and he was never seen again. You know, I have that same question. No, instead of botching this one, you guys just end up transporting, and you guys end up right in the middle of the walkway uh, leading to the bridge. So he's just off target, but you guys are like super close to that wall. Like, almost... Like, if he was just not careful enough, you guys would have just been inside of it. Perfect transport. Zero <laughs> just kind of around and looks at the wall and just kind of looks back at Slar and sort of nods his head. Yeah. And then attempts to get his bearings, because I'm guessing he's never been on a Burrell before. Yeah, this is your first. And you don't have their Type 2 phasers. Uh, you have, like, the phase pistol. So you don't have their fucking, like, and it just, like, they turn into fucking red dust. Um, you, you have, yeah, you just have, like, a little, like, one of those. So it's, so it's more like a Star Wars kind of blaster gun kind of thing? Very much so. There is no okay. stun setting on that. Um, oh, it's just kill. Oh, good. Yeah, it's, yeah, cool. it's literally, like, they were like, alright, we're gonna take an actual firearm, and then we're just gonna make it shoot laser blasts. No, stun, stun, stunning is inefficient. Okay, alright. So, um, you said it's a quarter, there's no, like, uh, there's no, um, readouts or anything that I would have looked nope. at before going uh, into this thing? on the All corridor right. that you're in, it's just currently a dim red glow with a small bit of mist floating on the floor. Um, to your north, at least to the forward end of the ship, that's where the bridge is, and to your rear is the living and operation quarters of the Klingon vertebrae. It is uh, eerily quiet, with the exception of the... S- Kind of like weird, like kind of noise from like metal, kind of compressing. It's very oh. quiet. It sounds like a submarine almost. So, uh, but my character wouldn't know the bridge is to the north, right? No, but okay. they, but Slar, Slar and Grakek do because they're from the Gorn hegemony. They've been on these ships before. So, uh, so Helmut looks at the Gorn and says, "Do you know which way is to the bridge?" Yeah. Okay, yes, take us there. He goes there first. We download the plans, we familiarize ourselves, and then we figure out if there's perhaps one of the Klingonen that is sending the bad power back to the ship, yeah? Did you say Klingonen? Yeah, because he's German. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep this in mind, uh, Slar, uh, you, you, you do technically outrank him because you're the chief engineer, so he's giving you orders. And you're the chief medical officer, Grakek, but your rank is master chief. You're, you're like a chief petty officer. But he is my medical charge. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, it's not even a doctor, then. 
So, so Nick, I if you want to, surgeon, if you want to give these guys orders and take control of the mission, you're going to have to give me a uh, uh, control and command roll. So Listen, he's, you, he is I... as much as a doctor as I am a captain. Oh, wait. <laughs> there you go. So Very... this is uh, is this a focus? Since I'm a, I mean, Starfleet yeah. lieutenant. Yep, yeah, it's going to just be a focus uh, complication range one task roll one. Focus, complication, task, roll one. Challenge dice? N no, not this time. No? Okay. This is just a task. You're just trying to get them to do what you ask. All right. Mm. Yeah, they 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 do not feel uh, compelled to follow your orders. Slar, what do you do? Slar's going to pat him on the head and pick up Boulder and proceed to go north. Well, you're, Boulder is in the range. Boulder's in the bridge. Oh. Yeah. We will find Boulder. Funny, short, German man. Pat, pat, and walk. Mm -mm. Okay, so that's great. It's fantastic. Yeah, you try to give them orders, but they're just like super intimidating. Like they're standing over you. You're like, why oh, don't we just go with you? <laughs> yeah, well, if we just do that, so that's fine. <laughs> we, we cannot be certain of your uh, mental facilities uh, as you have just been awoken. Yeah, I'm only sober and, you know, whatever. It's okay. <laughs> so oh, just... you require more alcohol like the no, captain. No, nine, nine. We, we shall get you some once we get so back. So Greg Kent has, like, a hypo spray full of, like, gin and just passes <laughs> it against his neck. <laughs> what does that say about the captain? Yes, Born can, can I do the that? The default state of a person is inebriation. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I give him an, a hypo spray of gin? Uh, yeah, if you want to. Why you do, do you have a hypo spray of gin? He didn't. No, you can fill that hypo spray up with whatever liquid you want to, and he's got gin on him because, of course, he does. So yeah, I'll, I'll just give him a quick injection of gin to calm him down. I'm not going to give you a medical roll on that. You just give him an injection. <laughs> he just sneaks it right up on me, huh? Yeah, you just feel like that's. You just hear like, and you feel like a cold burst going through your neck and body, and then all of a sudden you feel pretty fucking good, actually. All right. Hey, okay. That's yeah, you're like, you're like, all right, I like you. You're a good friend, you know? <laughs> this is actually pretty good. This is, what, what was that? Is this like combat stim? Uh, yes. <laughs> Very nice. It, it, it is um, fo uh, focus injection. Well, this is good. Captain this is takes them regularly. Okay, so you guys are going onto the bridge. Meanwhile, while you guys are heading to the bridge, on the bridge of the actual ship, uh, we just hear the captain, everyone's just trying to keep the ship going. And you lose one section side of your ship. That's the engineering part of the bridge. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, no, that's, Kirk. yeah, I'm going to get to you guys in a second. This is for the bridge people. Um, right. captain, like, so you just see try? like all the lights to your left just go out. He's like, motherfucker, all right, look, can we bypass this or what? And he's, he's like, Tellarite, come on, you smelly motherfucker. Can you get this done or what? I'd explain it to you, but it'd take too He's long. Like, He's like, I don't give a shit what you blather about. Just fucking fix it, you pig eared bastard. <laughs> Listen here, you smooth son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's like, if I get out of this chair, if I get out of this chair, it'll, it's gonna be a war crime. Yeah, because your hernias are gonna burst. He's, he, he, takes, <laughs> he, he reaches under his coat and takes out the key, and he's like, I'll put the key in! <laughs> And and meanwhile, you're just in the back there, Diggs, just like listening to like uh, Christmas music or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're listening to Christmas oh, just... music as the captain casually threatens to blow the ship up for the if second I'm, time in two I'm, days. I've toned them out completely. I'm just rubbing my chin, smiling and nodding, just at the whole scene. <laughs> um, Maybe you guys should wrestle without shirts. All right. So, what do you want to do, Grack? Drac, sorry. Mr. Mr. Ichiban. He's not here right now. No, oh, did he just He's probably wrangling children? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His, yeah, ch his children have consumed him. You're just going to hear him like, now I'm the like captain. The blob. Oh, there <laughs> we go. Hello. Yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah, yeah what you muted for some reason. Yeah, I was talking to you. All right, what, all right, so what do you do? The captain's threatening to blow the ship up. Again. Not, he does it like every day. It's like no big deal these days. <laughs> He's like, avocado toast, this is hipster shit, I'll blow it up. I just roll my eyes and uh, put on my tiny reading glasses and uh, take a look at my console and work my magic, see if there's anything I can do to redirect power or like see what the heck is hey, eating up all our power, like whether or not like the uh, the, the chef's Daddy, base is turn. Yeah, uh, let's see. <laughs> Give me a um, reason con roll. Um, 
complication range two challenge dice uh two because i think you have the trait for that uh you would do. you say it was again yeah you haven't screwed it yeah uh so it's complication range two challenge dice two. Oh no the attribute and discipline oh sorry con and uh reason these are two really good ones for you too so hopefully you get a good roll on that Oh yeah, and you get, hey everybody, he just yeah. got you guys a fucking momentum, which you guys are gonna need. Um, so so yeah, now you guys uh, so now he uh, checks it, and uh, the system on the left just sort of kicks on, and that annoying like uh, Star Trek bridge noise starts playing uh, to your left. <laughs> yeah, that exactly. Like, and then uh, you're just like looking over at it, Captain, and you're like, "What do you do?" Oh God. He's like, how can we f unfuck this situation? Uh, just as you're saying that, Captain, you just start to hear something coming from your chair. He he mashes the button. Yeah, you just. <laughs> yeah. Okay. H Hello. Hello. Who's this? He's like, this is your worst fucking nightmare. What do you want? <gasps> oh, ah, uh, I um, sir, I, I saw I saw some I saw somebody. He, he was he was going up. To, he was going into deflector control. He the had captains. a phaser. Okay. All right. Fine. And he looks at the Tellarite and he goes, go to deflector control. Yeah. And find out what's going on and murder the shit out of anyone who fucks with our shit. And he looks at Orion and he goes, you go with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you I'm guys. Sorry. I thought you, I thought you just told me to leave. The, the, the <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, I, I did. You're gonna have to do some work. It is lace atrophy, though. Can, can I just like, hey, good luck? All right, I grab his chair and start wheeling. Oh, oh god, <laughs> let's go! Yeah, you guys, you guys, hit, you hit the button and you're just sort of waiting for the elevator to come up. So while you guys are waiting for the elevator to come up, Salt and um, our Italian chef. I'd like to uh, attempt to persuade the captain to let me stay on the fridge. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use man. augmented ability presence to increase <laughs> the cop rage by two, and diplomacy is my focus. No, I. Those are all fair. I'm going to say, um, yeah, presence and command. Two. Uh, yeah, these are actually two really good stats for you. Um, give me complication range because the captain's really. Uh, he's, he matches you kind of in that, but I think he's a little stronger. Um, give him, uh, you're going to get a complication range of four, uh, and this is going to be a challenge dice of two. You can use a focus. Oh, right. So just hit. Hmm. Oh, Captain, shit. Please, you know, you gain I serve two momentum. The, nice. I serve the, I serve the ship the best from your he's side. He's like, fuck it. And he gets out of the chair and he's like, I hate you sometimes. You really make my job hard. And then he just walks off and he's like, I'm going to deflector control. I'm going to choke a bitch. And I just roll back into my spot. Whee! Are you going by uh, yourself, I, Captain, or are you going to go with I, your Tellerite I buddy? Push, I push him back in this spot, like, uh, too forcefully. I just go, wee! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Tellerite. It, I'm it, surprised it, nobody has called the security team to check that out. Uh, I you, guys are, you guys are busy sweeping the ship. This is, this is an area they can go look in. No, okay. uh, I give the captain our secret high five handshake. Slaps him across the face, gets slapped back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you and the captain are heading down to deflector control. Um, so meanwhile, while you guys are doing that, over in the cargo bay, or that's where you guys went, right, to to, to inspect the cargo yeah. bay. Yeah, over in the cargo bay, our Italian chef and the chief of security are entering inside it, and it is pitch black. None of the I lights the are lights on pitch. inside. I, I clap twice to turn on the lights. Uh, the lights do not come on. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because this is on a clapper system. <laughs> yeah, right, it's voice activated. Can... I'll take out my. Uh, I'll take out my PDA and I'll enable the flash. <laughs> yeah, you t you're carrying around that fucking block. With <laughs> <laughs> Hanging off my belt. Yeah. Wait, he's got access to his trader console. He's the one doing it. Yeah. Um. How many color crystals? Yeah, you I turn have? on you turn on your light, and you notice that the cargo bay seems to be a little bit disheveled. Huh. Okay, I'm back. Anybody there? Hello. Nobody answers. What do you want to do? Do you want to investigate? 
Yeah, I'm gonna investigate. But what level of cargo am I on right now? You're in the third. You're in the bottom floor. All right, yeah. Cargo's uh... cargo's gigantic, so there's racks that go all the way up to like the top of the ship. Oh, I'm gonna make sure I uh, I look on the racks that are above me. Okay, give me an insight down. and security. And I want you to make this a uh, focus yes, complication two, challenge two. So this should give you plenty of time to find something. Or not. Uh, or not. Yeah, uh, you can use a momentum. They did bring two. Yeah, I'll use a momentum then. Okay, so you use a momentum so you don't botch it. Um, you definitely know that there's somebody in here uh, because everything seems to be falling over. And uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. The uh, to the Italian uh, chef, uh, you can definitely tell something fucky is going on in here. What would you like to do, Captain's Log, twelve fourteen two thousand twenty. While he's doing that, I'm gonna call out. Hey, if you guys come out right now, I won't beat you for an entire week. And just as you say that, like you hear a wrench fall in the distance. Man, he must have been really surprised. Dropping a wrench that sounds like a beating offense. <laughs> Yeah, you don't know where in the cargo bay that was, but it was definitely on a floor that's right above you somewhere. Like, you know it's somewhere up. On the second level, or just up? Can't tell. You just know that it's somewhere up. All right, is, I'm going to try the elevator. Is it out of commission? Or? No, there's only ladders in here. There is a, there's a cargo elevator, but it's down. All right, and there's only one ladder up and down, right? There's two. All right, I'm going to uh, tell the Italian, hey, watch the other ladder. I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to start... I provide security it. for you. <laughs> you, sound, you sound like a command and conquer unit. I will provide security. China will grow to oh, really? Yeah. Right, I'll, I'll start climbing up with uh, one hand. Okay, you got one hand on the... Uh, and you're, you're climbing up this. Yeah. It's pitch dark. Um, and as you reach the top floor, you hear uh, footsteps running away. I'm going to take a shot at where I hear the footsteps. Okay. Uh, since this is a very blind shot, um, give me a complication range of four. Um, it's going to be a... Con uh, you're going to do daring and security. Uh, and you're going to give me a challenge dice of two. You can use your focus and all that stuff here. Complication range of four. Challenge right, two. Let's try it. Um... You definitely hit where wherever that sound was, but you don't hit the person that was running away. But what you do, uh, what you do make happen is someone going, "Ah, oh, fuck!" And they, as they run, and you see, you see and hear uh, a door open in the distance and a bright light and a figure run through it and down a hallway. That that scream of "Oh fuck!" sounded familiar. Yeah. So right, I'm gonna. I'm going to call down to the Italian. He's up here. Come on. And I'm going to start running towards that door. And just as you yell that, uh, somebody grabs you from behind Mr. Italian. Oh, fuck. Uh, I tried to break out of the grapple. <laughs> yeah, you're going to try to break out of his grapple. Let's see here. Uh, what the spicy meatball? Yeah, you're going to give me a daring you security. You being so insensitive. Yeah, like, give I cannot, me. I cannot believe. It's no wonder you're all about to become jailbirds. Yeah, give me, give me daring security, um, and then you can use a focus because you have hand-to-hand -hand combat, and you're gonna give me a complication range of four because I gave you a surprise. Challenge dice task of roll? two. No, not task. Just challenge dice two. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, uh, sorry. No, that's that's incorrect. There we go. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, um, you're able to break free, and you knock the guy in the nose. Um, and just as you do that, two more people grab you, and they start holding you down. What do you do? I'm under attack. Unknown assailants. There are at least three of them. Okay, um, give and me... And I try to, to cut them up with the straight razor. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna... Well, hold on a sec. You're, you're, both your arms are held down. Um, Fuck. <laughs> yeah, give me, give me a uh, uh, daring and command roll. Um, same complication, um, and one die. One Okay, I'm probably gonna fuck this one up. Wait, he was doing Italian cooking, so it should be extra greasy to slip out of their hands. <laughs> <laughs> because as you're yelling this, Ross is already running after that other person, so you're trying to get your voice up the fucking- so he can hear you. Ross, you run off like a retard! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, just go. How are you had the security? <laughs> I wish the Tellrite was there to actually say that, like, I don't see why you can't grab him. He's so greasy already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, yeah, he's running away. Um, you're being held down. Challenge roll hear? one. Uh, did you roll that? Yeah, I rolled that. That's the most recent one. Oh, okay. I didn't even see that. Um, yeah, you do hear something. You do hear, like, <laughs> like, in the background, Ross, but you just can't really tell exactly what it is, although that, too, does give you momentum, so... So he curses, stops, and rushes back to the ladder and calls down, What the hell are you doing? Oh yeah, so now you can hear you can hear uh shuffling and people like punching. You like that like like that Wait a minute, punching, that's <laughs> my job. I'll start sliding down the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, so there's like a fight going on and just as you slide down the ladder, uh you see that there are three people currently holding down the Italian, kicking him and punching him. Uh, while uh, there's just a dim light on them, and they see you, and they go, "Oh shit!" And it's cl- and you can tell that they are three crewmen uh, that worked in cargo. Fucking Cargonia is rising <laughs> up. <laughs> Stations are oh, now. So I'm gonna say, "You ungrateful little shits," and I'm gonna shoot all three of them. Oh, okay. Um, you're gonna have to give me uh, a high complication range of that. Um. Give me, yeah, three, since it's three people. Give me three challenge dice. Complication range, four. Focus used, yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay. And that'll be um, control security. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I did daring security, sorry. No, no, it didn't It didn't count that anyway, it's fine. Um, okay, so you, you shoot at them. Um, you hit two of them, but the stuns just sort of, like, make them disoriented, but not enough to knock them out, and the other one just completely misses. Um, so you do that thing with the phaser where it's like, uh, what is it? The, like it's supposed to be like the stun attack and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> um, and they just kind of look at you and uh, the uh, one guy who's not holding the Italian down tackles you to the ground and starts punching you. Um, you're gonna going to get to, in order to defend against this, you're going to give me a um, challenge roll uh, complication range two. You have hand to hand, so this should be pretty good. Challenge dice too. Do I Is have that like fucking secure? battle music? Where's my battle music? Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. Now that fitness security. Not that one. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, roll that for me. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's fitness security. You're right. Okay. Oh. Uh, you punch him in the face, but you completely miss uh, the second time, and uh, it just sort of glances off, and he kicks you right in the face, and you go a little bit disoriented, almost fading. Uh, the Italian, what do you do? These two guys are holding you down. Would you like try to fight back? You have a Hell little yeah, bit. Yeah, of... I'm going to. I going. To, I fight it back. Okay, you're being held security. down. Yeah, I tried to break out of the cold. Okay, uh, give me a complication range of three. Uh, tasks or challenge dice of two. I do this. Hopefully that's not too loud. I roll. It says it the uh, zero. No challenge dice. You didn't put two. Did you put two? Yes, I put. I put two fucking challenge dice. Okay. Uh, no, you completely can't break out of this, and they knock you unconscious. With a, with a kick to the face. <laughs> so both. I thought bo- that was so strong, but no. Both the first officer and the Italian have been completely knocked out. Um, oh, I thought wow. I was just disoriented still. Shit. No, no. And before I, Orion's the last one awake. <laughs> yeah, so now we're going to cut back over to the Klingon ship. We're going to get to the captain and, and uh, the Tellarites, and the elevators are slow. Um, <laughs> we're going to go back over to the Klingon ship, and on the Klingon ship, you notice that it's still eerily quiet as you walk up toward the bridge. The doors lift upwards because they're stupid, and because uh, I hate those doors. The ones that go upwards, they're, they're not good design. Um, they open up, and on the bridge, you can just see Klingon uniforms, but no Klingons in them. Um, and underneath the uniforms is a meat-like substance. Oh, God. Ooh. The Klingons have left their previous meal here. Where have they gone? No. Don't be stupid. This is... This is Klingon. Klingon. Or, uh, no, just kind of we will be. We, sh- we will see about that. And uh, I woke up and scanned one of the meat. Pot- okay. Um. Give me a uh, task and complication. You're me he's not gonna figure out what it is by taste. 
<laughs> Slar was totally good expected. to do that. <laughs> yeah, you have xenobiology as well, so you can probably identify pretty easily. If so, he yeah. also has Gorn, he has taste Klingon. Yeah, give me um, <laughs> focus use, well, yes, yeah, you know, complication like range I'm, one, task roll one. I've got the tricorder. I'm, I'm waving it over a little bit, then I reach down and, you know, get get a finger and give it a good lick. <sighs> oh, yeah, you just want to lick it? <laughs> yeah. All right, you don't have to roll for that. Um, Yep, it definitely tastes like Klingon. Not going to explain how you know that, but you just know it tastes like Klingon. <laughs> that is definitely Klingon meat substance. Remember in the last episode when their ship was turned into a centrifuge and you crushed everybody inside? Yeah. Oh, these you are made milkshakes. Yeah, so there's basically a Klingon milkshake. Klingon on milkshakes. We, we should get these for shake. later. Yeah, um, Helmut, you don't know why they're Klingon milkshakes on the ground, so you're kind of confused. Helmut just sort of has, he's a little bit wide-eyed, and he just kind of slowly nods and starts making his way towards the console to try and figure out what's going on on the ship. And in front of you is a console entirely in Klingon. Keep in mind, in your era, uh, speaking Klingonese is not exactly a thing you guys did. So, I mean, I'm aware of them, but I don't know any of them. Yeah, you don't know the language yet. So I, I look at the Gorn, and I'm... You can always use your tricorder. Uh, well, yeah, I could. I, I suppose I will scan it and try and decipher it. Okay. Um, let's see here. What do we got? Oh, you don't have your tricorder. You didn't bring your tricorder with you. You just have your I'm uniform and communicator and your weapon. You can borrow. Uh, Boulder kindly offers tricorder. Oh, yeah. Boulder is actually sitting in the captain's chair, by the way. <laughs> yes. Good Boulder. <laughs> That's where you apparently beamed him to, is the captain's chair in the middle of the of the room. Um, with his little uniform Can and... Boulder be Wait, the second uh, in command? I on the bridge, or their bridge? No, on the Klingon bridge. <laughs> okay, I was in, like... It kills Tex! Oh, no! <laughs> yeah. No, um, so yeah, Boulder's just sitting there, silently as ever. Um, just happy to be there. Um... Fine stoic leader. <laughs> is he now covered in blood of Klingon because he landed on the captain's... Oh no, the captain got ejected into the warp car. Understood. Yeah, you guys put the captain in the warp core of your ship, so he's, yeah. he's dust. Um, I'm going to keep saying here. Okay, you guys are good. Um, I, <laughs> um, so you guys uh, explore uh, the bridge. What do you do, Slar? You are the chief engineer. This well, is this would be your domain since you're the one who can handle machines. Yeah, chief engineer, mass air quote. <laughs> Hel Helmet's just going to cover the back door since he's clearly out of his out of his element. <laughs> okay. Somehow, he, Slar suddenly feels a shot to confidence. Sadly, a little solitary tear goes down his eye. Um, but before, um, it, can Slar and he's going to use his tar, uh, tricorder and is going to try to find a computer that is working to allow him to identify where this power drain is coming from. Okay, uh, you start pressing buttons on the Klingon ship uh, because the budget of the show is cheap. They sound like... <laughs> <laughs> they sound like a, a, a Federation buttons because that's what the fucking producers could afford. Um, as you're pressing on the uh, buttons on the ship, you discover that there is a strange power drain not coming from the ship's power core, but it's somewhere on the ship. It's just hard to identify. Almost like it's being obfuscated by something. But outside of that, you don't really know where. And the reason why I didn't make you roll that is because the, the, the display is on the ship. It's like in front of you. Using tricorder, he wishes to find location. Okay. Uh, give Our me. Our ship starts to move up and down a little bit as I start playing with the pilot's control. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. Let's wait till we get to the captain thing, and then you, you guys can fuck with them. <laughs> Um, so give me insight engineering there, uh, Slar. Okay. And uh, it's just going to be complication range of just a little complication range of four uh, task roll uh, two, and you can use a focus. <laughs> Crap. What does that mean? Uh, well, no, you you got two successes. That's fine. Um, you don't get a momentum from it. Um, oh. Yeah, you're good. You just you, you detect that it's definitely coming somewhere in the aft section of the ship, but you'll need to get closer to see what it is. Okay. Something is draining. Uh, yeah, Klingon paste from spinny spinny motion. Uh, it's in the aft. We go. We take Boulder. No, Boulder stayed a secure area. 
we kill. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you are helmet. You could and Grkak. You guys can respond to however you want to <laughs> to that. Okay, these will go to the back of the ship. I said, I said torpedoes. Shit. Oh yeah, this is uh, you can detect. You definitely know this is they're Klingons. You know from your era that they were violent. Well, yeah, but I mean, I don't know the class of ship. Oh, I don't um, know what its armament would be. That that's something you can ask Rick or Slar. That's I mean that's what he's doing. He's asking an open-ended question. To yeah, his and you guys would know the answer to this. So what? The, the torpedo. Does this ship have the the torpedo vehicles? Can launch the the torpedo? Yes. Klingons love to launch things from their ships. Yes, they like to destroy. Very weaponized. This is good. We may need these. Where's the, where are the torpedoes kept? Are they near the back? Yes. I like this German person. He knows. Perhaps, perhaps we take some of these torpedoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we should. Um... We, we should salvage as much of the ship as we possibly can. Yes, brilliant. Keep so in mind, you guys are trying to take this back to the Federation. The, the captain will reward here. us for anything we can bring back. Oh. So then we go Maybe to the back, we find the train, and we take the torpedo. Yes. We are great. Okay, Leads away. new plan. Kill traitor, or subdue traitor, take technology, three, torpedo, four, boulder, five, escape. Helmet just kind of looks at his face pistol. He's like, "This, so what is this stun? You have this on your face? <laughs> Killing? <laughs> we have stun? This, I don't think so. Is this how but, cute is this? It is off or maximum only. Okay, so if he kills the traitors, this is very easy. Stun, stun is stun is for when someone is fleeing medical, like like you. Yeah. And he, he points the face. Oh, I thought I thought you just suits him in the knee. Yeah, gentle massage." <laughs> Gentle massage. Okay, so need massage. So, um, did you guys want to go to the aft section of the ship? Hell yeah. Okay, so you yes, guys, you guys are gonna head down there. While you guys are heading down there, Captain Horatio and uh, our lovely Lieutenant uh, Drac are currently on the elevator together, and it's uh, quite cozy in there. Um, and the doors open up uh, two decks down where the deflector uh, control is. Can I start the rocking the ship a little bit? Oh god. Yeah, you can. Uh you don't, I don't have to give you a roll for that. You just go up to a you just go up to a console and you just Your hernias aren't giving you any trouble, Captain, are they? You just feel the only pain in my side is you because you're a pain in my ass. And as you guys are saying that, you feel the thrusters kick on the ship and you just kind of like do that rocking motion they do on the show, like fuck, what the fuck was that? And he, he, Kevin just holds his head and he's like, I, we're going to have to kill that, that fucking uh, Orion. And I just, and he takes out his phaser and he just walks out of the open. He's like, let's just find whoever's down here and shoot them in the face. Okay. Um, as you enter the de deflector control, you notice that it is actually incredibly dark as if the lights have been turned off. If only we had some of them wrist flashlights. <laughs> Those annoying is, fucking Voyager flash, uh, wrist flashlights with double flashlights on it. Yeah, that's Voyager era technology. <sighs> yeah, you can't put two flashlights on your wrist. That's that's too much for you right now. It's too much. I need holographic lungs. Call me like. Oh. So how do you so how do you want to explain this? Power on. And you yeah, I, can I hit the light switch? Yeah, uh, you walk over to the panel and uh, you hit the light switch, and nothing happens. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, it's completely dark in there. And, you broke it, Captain. And it's a little colder than normal. As if environmental control is not exactly working right. All right, so is this the only way in and out? Yes, you're currently on the only way out of deflector control. All right, can we try to restore power and fix this? You can try, but you're going to need to locate the little console. You need to, like, you need to figure out what's in this room. <laughs> well, let's, let's search it carefully by like what running our hands across the wall like fucking D&D uh, &D dungeon I'm too busy, sh <laughs> I'm too busy shivering because Tellarite's uh, like a lot warmer than usual okay uh Captain Horatio give me uh insight security um challenge two 
uh, challenge dice of two, complication of two. All right, challenge dice of two. And no focus. Two. Yep. yep, yep, yep. All right, and then... Uh, yep, just hit the challenge dice. Oh, shit. Well, you don't you don't botch it completely. Um, Yeah, you, you feel around the room, and then you finally locate the console that's right in like near the edge of the room that's that controls deflectors um the console's not lighting up it's almost as if it's been completely shut off i'm, back. Well, I'm take... going to shut it on i'm gonna <laughs> cut it on okay let me take a look at it sir okay um drac if you want to look at it um you pull out your tricorder um and you're going to give me a insight engineering role um complication range two challenge dice two and yeah, computers. Yeah, you can just focus. All right. Uh, what attributes and disciplines? You said uh, engineering. What else? Uh, reason engineering. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. You turn on your tricorder, and you can definitely tell that this console is turned off. All right. I'm gonna hit the on button. Yeah. You press the on button, and this is what happens. Nothing. Uh, I should see if it's plugged in. Okay. As you're walking around to the other side of the console, uh, Captain, you feel somebody running right behind you, but uh, you didn't see them. Almost like like a <sighs> really fast and like a little pitter patter of feet. You get the Naruto run going. <laughs> There's oh, something no. definitely in this room with you. Okay, um... But you felt I, that, you felt something behind you. Can I turn and shoot it? Uh, yeah, you could try to shoot it. Um, give me a daring and security. Uh, give me a complication range of four. Uh, challenge dice of two. And no focus, because you're not... Oh, wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong sheet. Yeah, no, no focus, because you're not, you're not that guy. All right. No. Yeah, you shoot in a direction with your... Uh, w what setting was this phaser on? Just stun, because I'm not willing to like blow a hole in the space, you know? So yeah, you fire in the direction of it, and a bunch of boxes go flying forward. Uh, why I stun the boxes. Yeah, you don't know why there are boxes in deflector control, but they've just been flying no, forward. No, I know. Our ship is garbage. That's, that's why. And a bunch of like nuts, bolts, and random like rusty tools go flying and hit the ground really hard. It's where Slar sleeps. That was all the junk that they had in med bay that uh, uh, Gr that Grekek pulled himself up there or pulled. Can I use? Oops, sorry, sorry. Are you messing up Grekek's work area? You know, no, Grekek moved all that shit out of med bay because his med bay oh. was filled with junk. Uh, Grekek is a very organized. That's I how. I think I have a bit. Of, sorry, DM. So as you just as uh, the captain fires a shot, uh, you hear that shot there, uh, Mister Con Officer. What do you do? Well, seeing how as a Tellerite, I have uh, enhanced hearing and smelling oh, yeah. compared to that of mortal men, uh, I pause for a second and see if I can't sniff anything or hear anything out of the ordinary. Okay, so give me a challenge dice 2, complication 2, and that's going to be a um, insight uh, security. This should be pretty easy for you. Oh. Um, yes. you don't, you don't detect where exactly where they're at, but you know that there's a sweaty motherfucker in this room. A sweaty <laughs> motherfucker. Hey, that could, that could be me. I yeah. smell you, you smelly motherfucker. Captain, he's stinging up the place. I know well, he's in why, here. Why don't you find him and bite him with your chompers? <laughs> I'm trying to. Come here, boy! As I roll my sleeves up and ready to, uh... So you're just gonna walk into the darkness? Tie. God, and Tellerite <laughs> fucking got, like, hairy arms like, uh, Ugh. Robin Williams. Just, like, rolls them up into, like, gorilla arms. Oh, yeah, but man. Tellerite's thriving, poor visual areas, so I should have the advantage over this poor motherfucker. He's gonna beat that guy up like Popeye after he eats fucking spinach. <laughs> 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 Alright, uh, Drat, give me that same exact roll to see if you can find this person. Oh, yeah, you do. You definitely. As you walk over to the darkness, uh, you just hear somebody go, fucking runs, like, toward, try to run to the door. Um, and he's just within reach, so you can do 
anything at this point. I'm gonna try to knock this block off. Oh, you're gonna try to do like a muscles. You're gonna do like one of those things where you grab your hands together and like double fist <laughs> him in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Give me a um, daring command uh, complication range of two challenge dice of two because you're a you're a, a guy who can do this. Uh! So he does it. No, oh, I you miss. completely miss and you land on the ground. Captain, what do you do? This guy is running to the door. The no, door is open so you can see a light. No, I'm going to I am going to clothesline this guy in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys run up to the you run up to this guy, Captain, and let's see what is your what do you got for fighting? God. You have diplomacy? How the fuck do you have diplomacy? Why did we give you that? <laughs> I don't know. It, it, yeah. You have hand phasers. That's your best fighting ability. Okay. Um, okay, I will hand phaser. Okay, so as he's running through the door, uh, Captain, give me an uh, daring security roll. Uh, complication range of two. <coughs> Challenge dice two. Focused use. Yes. All right, rolling. Oh, shit. Not only does the captain fire at him, uh, the guy lands on the ground and he's completely unconscious. He's right, wearing a red I shirt. Go, and I go, step into the squared circle, son. <laughs> Welcome to the USSS's, and this is the captain speaking. And I elbow drop him. I kick my feet out and I drop my elbow on his Adam's apple. Okay, um, you're gonna hit him, but I want to see what kind of fucked up damage you do. So could you give me that exact same roll you just did? Yeah, you elbow drop him, and you hear a loud crack uh, as you land on top of him. This red shirt right. is unconscious, and apparently you have broken something. Is it my arm? No, you broke his. <laughs> but you broke something of his. And you also got a momentum token for for doing that. So good on you. Uh, well done, sir. I think you killed our uh, only prisoner. He's like all in a day's work. He's face right, down. Roll. Yeah, he's, he, he, Captain grabs one of his feet and he's like, "Grab the other feet. We're gonna drag this guy to the garbage. This guy's gonna get a tourist space." Okay. Do you guys? You guys are just gonna throw him in the trash and I can see who it is. <laughs> Oh, I'll give him a once over, but this it's airlock o'clock. War crimes. War yeah. crimes. War <laughs> crimes. Yeah, you guys War you guys crimes. oh yeah. Uh so you flip him over and you realize he's a cargo tech. I told you we can't trust them cargo guys, Captain. I told you they were trying to do a coup or a coup yeah. or whatever it is you humans call it. Yeah, nope. It, nearest airlock and out he goes. That's what's gonna happen. Okay. Uh, uh, is they it pay not, like for... really illegal. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to? Uh, well, this I'm is a... the captain's decision. If he wants to put him in the airlock, yeah. I'm not going to tell him no. No, he's uh, going to the use, airlock. I'm going to use my tellerite ability of knowing better to try to convince the captain to interrogate the guy instead. Okay. The uh, supernatural ability, common sense. Uh, let's yeah. see. What do you have? You have absolutely no diplomacy, so this is going to be tough against the guy who has great diplomacy. Um, you're going to give me uh, insight and uh, command, um, and you're going to give me a complication range of four, uh, and you're only going to give me two challenge dice, no focus used. Yeah, roll that shit. <laughs> yeah, so you tell the captain, uh, you're like, oh, captain, duh, duh, and then the captain just, what do you say? I'm like, we just break to fuck our ship up. Minutes. Yeah, but he knows shit, sir. We can beat him up and get him to tell us stuff. He's like, all right. He goes, okay, I'll fix the deflector, but if this guy has a full set of teeth the next time we talk, you're getting demoted. <laughs> okay. All right, then I, I sit on him while the captain does his thing. Okay, Captain, um, what do you want to do with the deflector control? Try to turn the power back on. Uh, give me insight engineering. Uh, you do have a bit of engineering, so you can do... Uh, I'm going to search this guy while Sorry. the captain does that. Oh, see if he has any like uh, yeah. contraband or uh, wacky doodads. Complication range 2, challenge dice 2. Uh, no focus. Alright, you don't botch it. Um, you press a few buttons on your uh, on the... Uh, the ship thing and eventually the ship just uh the lights kind of dim like you know like the sound of like uh w w like fluorescence kicking like and the light comes back on um and you see that deflector control 
um, was actually set to um, emit a uh, graviton pulse directly at the Klingon ship. Somebody Great. was trying to use your uh, use this thing to destroy the Klingon ship. That's nonsense. Okay, well, I have to undo that. Yeah, you you easily undo it. You just delete the program, um, and then uh, you get. Uh, back on the bridge really quick, um, Mr. Uh, Co communications Officer, mm -hmm. you're getting a hail. On screen. Oh, wait, that's me. And I walked over to my... Or <laughs> I slide over to my console, turn it on, and Well, slide you could sit at the captain's chair. You do have con if you really want to. <laughs> All right, I'll sit in the captain's chair and just answer. Okay, so nothing happens, but you just see a Starfleet logo appear on screen. And they're like, this is a Talc Force Alpha. We're coming to your location, Klingon warship. We will destroy you. Retreat to Klingon space immediately. Uh, this is uh, USS Essis with the Federation. That is incorrect. Our sensors are detecting you as a Klingon warship. We will not fall for any Klingon lies. Turn your ship what? around what? and get out of our space or we will destroy you. When you arrive, you'll see a Federation junker and a warship that we are currently in tow, which is what you're detecting, and a and he cuts you he cuts you off and he cuts you off mid sentence. Um, ah, he was listening anyways. No, he wasn't. Um, the thing is, and this is something you all know: the Kling the uh, Federation's actual defense force, those ships don't have view screens. They don't have outside windows. No. Oh. So basically, this sh they're on their way. They can't look out a window and be like, oh, that they have to rely on sensors. This is why they didn't know who the Romulans were or anything. These are like old school defense ships. So basically like submarines in a sense. So these guys are very close. Uh, so you guys might need to hurry up with whatever it is you're doing. How do you want to tell the captain this? I'll, I'll page the captain. Okay, so you call down to deflector control. Yes. Uh, so we had a uh, another call from the Federation. They still believe that we're Klingon Warbird, and they will destroy us upon arrival. What he's should like, we okay. He's like, okay, here's what we can do. We can send out a sensor buoy, and those are Federation signals only, and that might give them pause. We send out a distress buoy that's Federation coded. They will realize we are who we say we are, or at least pause to investigate. All right, well, just so you guys remember, all your buoys and anything you can launch are in the cargo bay. That's yeah, all you, Cap. Color me impressed, Captain, an idea that doesn't involve war crimes. <laughs> He's like, don't say that word. Yeah, remember, you guys are all being recorded. <laughs> don't say the W word. Okay, so what do you what want? What word? War crime? So what do you want to do, Captain? You want to call down to cargo? I mean, what do you want to do? You, you no, know that we're going to cargo. We're going to cargo right fucking now. And we're dragging this guy face down on the ground. We're <laughs> dragging him by the feet face down. So every little pump in the plate, plates is like boom, 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 boom on his face as we go. Okay, I'm just going to quickly get you guys over there um, because this is going to cut into uh, Mr. Ross and Goat, who are currently being held... Uh, in cargo. Um, so you guys get down there, and uh, just as you um, open the door, and you see uh, inside, it's completely dark. All right, he's gonna yell out. He goes, "All right, you cargo fucks! I got two <laughs> rules." <laughs> and he takes out the phaser, and he goes, "I'm in charge." And anyone who doesn't understand that, goes just as out you're the space just box. as you're saying that, somebody shoots right at your feet and intentionally misses. He goes, "All right, I got one of your men. Next round goes into his brain." And then, uh, right as you say that, you're like, "Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, we got two of yours, and we have the first officer." He's like, it, "Wait, you got the first? Oh, so yeah, that's not even trade. I'll just kill this guy." <laughs> <laughs> So All the right. lights kick on, and you see uh, the Italian, and you see the uh, you see the first officer, and they're on their knees, and they're on the second floor above you, but you can see the second floor. It's like a railing, and you see uh, the five cargo guys all holding uh, makeshift weapons and phasers, and it, they have just, weapons is, pointed at their head. He's like, what is this even about? You know, we're sick and tired 
of being ordered around by a guy who's just breaking all of the rules. Once the Federation gets here, we're going to take and we're going to take what's ours, and you all are going to go to prison. He's like counter offer. When the Federation gets here, I will say you're all party to everything I've done, and we'll all burn together. Or we sell this fucking Klingon ship back to the Federation. We all get medals. We all get leave for once in our lives, and we get a better ship with not only a rec room that has more than a part cheesy shit said, but maybe a spa and some of them replicate things that make something other than gruel. And a dartboard? <laughs> and a dartboard. Okay, Captain, you're, you have, this is, this is in your wheelhouse, so you're going to do and give me a presence and command, uh, and it's going to be a complication range of three with four challenge dice and a focus used. Hell, I'm motivated. All right. Holy fucking shit. Even if I threw a threat token, I could not beat that roll. Um... They Orion's look at you. Like, I feel a force imbalance. <laughs> <laughs> this is in the, the captain's. Charisma. Yeah, this is in the captain's wheelhouse. This is the thing he's actually good at, which is talking to people. Um, unlike Orion. Um, so. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm augmented to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you tell that you tell them this, and the guy just sort of looks at you, and he's like a little bit wavering with his face. He's like, he's like looking a little unsure of himself, and he looks down, and he goes. What what do you mean? How how exactly is this all going to play out? Tell me why I shouldn't just vaporize these two right now and call it day. Okay, I'll tell you why. We got a Klingon fleet on one side. We got a Federation fleet on the other. They can't see us. They think the Kling we're a Klingon ship. They're going to blow us up. The Klingons are going to show up and blow us up. If we can eject a beacon with like my access codes and what have you on it, maybe they won't kill us right away. We bring in this Klingon ship. Federation Starfleet Engineering takes it apart. They say, oh, we're heroes. You guys reverse engineered a Klingon warbird. We all get promoted. We all get medals. We get a better ship. We get that dartboard. We get fucking drinks. You can have all the Orion chicks you want. They'll suck your soul out through the back of your head, but you'll get one. Uh, but if we let these guys go, what makes you think that you're not going to just put us in the brig and, 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 and beat us up and have Ross break my spine like you did Daniels? He goes, first of all, Let's all agree that Daniels had it coming. And they all nod, like, yeah, yeah, no, he's right. Daniels, he's <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. Se second of all, he was all, kind of I a mean, bitch. I mean. he's, he's like, look, you had your fun, you know, you, you beat up your guy, and you, yeah, you're the rebellion. That's great. No, I mean, you got to blow off steam sometime. That's fine. But look, here's, here's, here's the thing we're going to die if we don't do this. And I'll, I'll make a deal with you guys. If you stay loyal to me, no one gets the airlock, but I guarantee to you, if you don't listen to me, sorry. What is the airlock? That's our airlock. He plays that over the comm every time. Face so Yeah, the comm system's down and it's just patched into the toilet. So <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like, "Look, we don't get our shit together. We're all gonna hang. So we have to hang together or all hang separately." I want your word, Captain. I want your word. That you won't hurt any of us, and we will work with you. He's like, okay. He's like, Ross, are you gonna are you gonna promise not to break any legs this time? I mean, I wasn't gonna break their legs this time. I was just worried. And, and, and he goes, all right. Is I don't believe gonna, Ross. It, I need the captain's word. The captain rolls his eyes and goes, fine. I promise, no reprise. Also, where'd you get those phasers, anyways? I thought I had all those under lock and key. We're in cargo. We have everything down here. Do we really have phasers on board? Not only do you have phasers, we have full spread of photon torpedoes down here. If we had a launcher, these things would actually be useful. Where were we taking torpedoes? The crowd was right. Did, <laughs> did none of you check the manifest? My god. He's like, What's I'm that? elected to lead, not to read. Anyways, we have a manifest? Look, I promise nobody gets their legs broke. Now get that fucking buoy out. Uh, and then they kind of all look at each other and go like, Hi, Captain. And they untie uh, the Italian chef and the uh, Ross. This is where I reveal I have a suicide You do a good grab. <laughs> I, I, I cook you something later. Once this blows over. Okay. He's like, look, we'll have a nice... He's like, I, I want that dartboard too, guys. Look, I'm sorry I'm not a great captain, but this isn't a great ship and we all deserve each other. I mean, is we're Stanley all here, here for a reason, right? 
Yeah, and just as you're for yourself. And just as I mean, you say that, Captain. Something hey, Captain, just attacked your ship. Attack. You guys are all shaking around. I do this stuff like whoa, whoa. I'm yeah, but across the, the bridge. And on the outside of the ship is uh two Federation vessels. They seem to have caught up with you guys. Um and they are currently shooting at your ship and they're coming around for another volley. Okay, he's gonna he's he's gonna yell. He's like, get that fucking buoy launch right now. He's pointing at the guy he elbow dropped. He's like, he started it. This one doesn't count. And then he runs to the bridge. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Captain, so wait for me. <laughs> yeah, you're like you're Tellerite waddling up to the bridge. Um, so, um, Mr. Ross and Mr. Italian Chef, what do you guys do? Before I leave, I want to look around. Is Stanley here? Uh, no, Stanley r left. He ran off somewhere. Uh, I'm going to uh, stand up and uh, slick back my hair and crack at the knuckles and say, I guess we're we to stand by to be boarded. Uh, well, we're currently sandwiched between a Klingon fleet and a Starfleet fleet, so. Yep. I, I don't know how to uh, pilot the ship. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's not your fault. Yep. Uh, I am going to go get a second phaser, though, so I'll see you all in a... Yeah. So, Captain's going up to the bridge. The ship is under attack. Two Federation ships are currently shooting at you. Their target locked on you, and all they can see is that you are a Klingon warship, and they're probably celebrating because they just did damage on you somehow. So when what do you do? When they get to the... The bridge, they see me surfing on my uh, wheelie chair as it rocks back. <laughs> yeah, even, even worse, he's like planking across the console. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like full plank position. Oh, hey, Cap. I'm uh, holding down the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Just as you guys get up on the bridge, uh, over there on the Klingon ship, you guys uh, definitely hear the sounds of explosions, but it's not coming from your ship. Oh, so that's probably not good. What do you guys do? All right, we gotta yes. get that. We gotta get that buoy out. We gotta get that buoy out. And we have to stay long enough, with life long enough. So all who's, power who's, to the shield. Who's going to help them get that buoy out? Those are just cargo techs. Uh, Your I'm chief engineer is the, not on the ship, by the way. I'll use my engineer expertise to uh, assist. Whether that be someone's uh, got to fly the ship. The... Keep in mind that you're all under right. attack. So who's gonna fly the ship while he goes out and do, does this? Fine, I'll fly the ship. So, like, you can give me a shot, but I say it won't work. Uh, so who's doing? Oh, you gonna fly the ship, or who's gonna? What, what's happening? If I'm on the, if it's just me and the captain, I'll fly the ship. Okay. So, uh, Mister uh, Communications Officer jumps on the con and. Uh... Or I had like two minutes of practice this today. <laughs> uh, captain, you're currently um, getting battle ready. Um, whatever you can do on this ship uh so um just as you're about to get uh uh on there i need you to orion just for this next few rolls here i'm just gonna run off of this uh give me con and give me control uh and i want you to give me a complication range of three sorry two two just two uh and then challenge dice one no focus <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, you just sort of spin the ship in a circle, and uh, just as you're spinning... I'm drawing my name. It starts with an O. Yeah, you're spinning the ship in, in a circle, and you guys get hit again. Um, okay, so while he's running down to set out that buoy, over on the other ship, um, you can hear the sounds of battle outside, but you're drawing closer to whatever is draining power from the SS. What do you do? Uh, Cap. All right. Well, no, well, the, the Klingon guys, the guys on the Klingon ship first, because you guys will be, you guys are about to get fucked up. Um, I just need to know what they're doing on that ship. If they're gonna go back, are they gonna try to figure out what's draining power? Like, what's happening? What's your plan? As far as you, you don't know what's happening. All you know is you just hear combat noises. It, it is probably just a temper tantrum from the captain. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps not. Perhaps it is. The Klingons. Perhaps we need to fight. German person thing, do you wish to fight them? Uh, yes, that would be good for to, uh, I, I don't know, the Klingon language. Maybe we, maybe we go to the back of the ship and fix ours so that our ship can help. 
You are wise. We shall do this, and then uh, Zin fight. Zinvi yes. makes it blow up. Yeah, yeah. Zinvi uses yeah. torpedo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can make these torpedoes go boom and be like suicide mission. Yeah. Oh no, we want this ship. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if yeah, you blow that ship up, up you guys yeah, might not be able. To... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I was just said maybe not to the last part, but yeah, good up to there. All right, let us go. All right, so where are you guys going? What are you doing? We're gonna go follow the bleep, bleep, bleep towards the power draining. Okay, so um, Grikek is the one doing the uh, uh who's doing the uh, uh, tricorder? I can't. Slar, what is it? Okay, Slar. Um, yeah, give me insight engineering, uh, complication range of two, challenge dice of two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why am I rolling shit? You rolled. You only rolled one challenge dice, so roll again. Oh. There you go. Mm. Why do I keep <laughs> yeah. failing? Yeah, you failed. Uh, Give all your power to Boulder. Um, <sighs> Grkek, roll your dice. Same thing. It's uh, insight and engineering. Complication range two. Uh, challenge dice two. Yep. Oh shit! There oh, you go. Insight to Boulder. Yeah, your your tricorder beeps, and it is definitely coming from a section of the ship that wasn't on the manifest. There seems to be a door there that was not in any normal version of the Klingon ships that you're used to seeing. Oh, the Klingon, the Klingons, they deceive us. And he just starts punching the wall. Oh. Yeah, the door the door rattles, but it does not open. Slar will join. Smash door! Okay, so... If Bring you, the boulder. All right, if you're both going to smash on the door, um, give me fitness and... Uh, uh, let's say, give me fitness security. Um, complication range two. Challenge dice two from both of you. Okay. Is there like a perception check that I can make to see if there's a console for this door? Yeah, they're pounding on the door, but it's not opening. So yes, you can do a. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can do, Mister Mister uh, Helmut. Uh, give me a uh, insight and engineering. Got strong. Um, you're That's gonna so give me complication range of one. Challenge dice two. <laughs> The two Gordon are going to do, like, a belly bump. They're just like, yeah, strong! <laughs> this is not a focus, right? No focus, no. Okay. Oh, shit. Holy and, shit. Yeah, you just got two momentum back. You guys are going to need that. Um, So, uh, yeah, you guys are going up to the console, and you're typing, he, he, you look over at the Gorn, and you just see a console uh, with just two buttons open and closed. You can't read that, but that's what you kind of guess that it is. I'm just, I'm going to press one, and if it doesn't open it, I'm going to press the other one. Okay, so you go up to the console and you press the button, and the doors open up. Uh, but the Gorn have no idea that you did that. We have succeeded. See, we have succeeded. German, <laughs> this is a yes. Do you have Boulder? With, do you have Boulder with you there? Boulder, of course. Okay, yeah. So you yes. have you have Boulder with you, Slar. Yeah. Okay, so you were hitting the door with the Boulder. Okay, um, so you I go. Have my med Staff. Yeah, you go into the uh, you go into the room and it is a completely blank walled room with nothing in it. It's completely empty. But according to your tricorder, something is definitely drawing power right to the source. Sar will throw boulder into center. Okay, um, give me fitness and uh, just give me fitness security uh, and uh, slar. Um, you don't have hand to hand there, Slar. So no focus. We got focus geology. Ye okay, fine. Yes. So complication <laughs> two, challenge <laughs> dice two. Door and geology. Yep. So, <clears throat> sorry, challenge dice two. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh shit! Uh, you throw it, and it doesn't. You don't make contact with anything, or at least it doesn't seem like it. You do see some. You see an object for a second, like. Tsh and then the boulder kind of rolls off to the edge of the room. Is so, it too late to use the momentum? No, you can use one. I, I was wondering when you guys are going to start using those. We have a lot I of them. I would like to use a momentum unless someone objects. No. No. All right, momentum. So you guys use a momentum. Uh, so basically he hits the device and its cloaking device completely turns off. It is a. It looks like some sort of weird Klingon technology that you've never seen before. 
and it is humming and vibrating and doing all the like weird computer noise stuff. Where's my computer noise at? It's, it's yeah, it's just the, you know, no, not that one. Fuck, I don't have it. Just it's making noises and stuff. <laughs> Why do you think my tricorder is saying this the entire time? Fuck, not that noise. No, the other one. Yes, this noise. <laughs> Burkeck yeah, is an expert at this sort of thing. Let, let, let him... Not that, not that noise, but yeah, it's kind of like that noise. Um, so you guys are hearing like all these noises. It's really loud in there, um, and uh, currently you can hear that it is a some sort of weird technology. What do you do? Uh, Grikek would like to uh, take a closer look. Okay, Grikek. I will assist. Uh, you get closer, and it's getting really hard to hear. Um, you're going to give me a. Um, Insight Engineering, Complication Range 4, Challenge Dice uh, 2, and uh, yes, you can use a Focus. Can I assist? Uh, yeah, or he can just use a Momentum. It's up to you. Do you want to try to assist? It's the same role, Insight Engineering, uh, Complication Range 1, or sorry, 4, and Task Roll, or sorry, Challenge Roll of 2. Go Team Gorn! Yeah! Uh, so you investigate it, and from what you can detect on your tricorder, and you turn that noise off because it's annoying, um, <laughs> you detect on your tricorder that it is some sort of strange transponder and energy drain device. It gives off a heavy signature, um, which makes it incredibly ineffective, um, and it seems to be almost experimental. But what it does is it allows you to change the transponder signal of any ship nearby or to obfuscate it completely. It seems to be in a very experimental stage because it draws power from its nearest power source. It appears this Klingon vessel has a special warp core in it that's shielded, but any other ship nearby would definitely have been drained of any power um, if it got near. Snar has an idea. Oh. This is where the boulder comes in. Boulder? Mm -hmm. Hello, Gorn, German fellow. I think we can make ourselves, both ships, appear as Federation. And then we run, and we take this for the hedge, I mean, for Starfleet. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to give me a roll, and then we'll dis we're going to see what happens after that, because we got to go back to the bridge, because these guys are under attack. So uh, you're going to give me a control engineering um, complication range five. Uh, oh, that's wrong. Oh, that's Slar. Slar, you have surgery. Yeah. What the? F why? Anyway, um. <laughs> <laughs> I asked the same thing all day. You Mom, can't use any of your focuses doctor. because these are all medicine things. Um, so no focus. <laughs> this is weird. Fourth engine. Yeah. No. No focus. No focus. No, no focus. I mean, I'm I'm good at science and piloting, but I'm the medical guy. Okay, so go ahead and... Slard needs to update his character sheet. You're going to give me we're, we're a challenge great. dice roll of four. I, I believe this this entire crew was given extremely fitting uh, position. Yes. That's why I'm such a good communications officer uh, with zero skills. Yeah, because you're... Slard is also going to be greedy and perhaps request additional momentum. Yeah, go ahead and roll. Well, you haven't rolled yet. Oh, shit. You did fine. Relax hold on, a moment. Hold on, I gotta roll. Okay. Okay. Slar does not fuck. wish to fuck up big time, like with Kirk. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ, Mike. Your bro dice are broken. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> fuck he gave me, Mike, uh, Michael actually gave me his dice, and they're awesome dice, but that all those rolls were absolute garbage. Um... So, uh, yeah, you completely uh, change the, uh, you start typing into the device. It's going to take some time for you to change the transponder signal. Uh, meanwhile, back over on the bridge, uh, everyone's kind of under attack right now. Um, and uh, basically, uh, everyone's working hard not to die. Uh, what do you guys do? Uh, we're we're, we're going we're gonna to try to get that, that fucking beacon out or die trying. Yep. Have you tried, you know, just saying, hey, this is the Klingon ship, we surrender? Uh, there's too much fighting going on, and those Federation ships don't have windows, and they don't give a fuck at this point. They just, all they know is, there is a, Feder there is some kind of Klingon warship out there, we're going to destroy it. We've warned them enough. And the captain, captain would probably know that this is futile against them, because they're fucking yeah, the, stupid. These, the guys who put in charge of these fleets are, are good at putting bullets on things they can't identify, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, your dice are tested true. Tested <laughs> with the poser of math and so. Um, okay, so uh, down in the cargo bay, um, Ross and Italian man, um, what do you do? These guys are busy putting together a tran or a uh, thing. I thought I was doing the beacon. Oh, beacon! Uh, sorry, we're bacon. Yeah, sorry. No, yeah, you're beacon. You're the be you're the bacon guy. So you go down there, uh, and you enter inside the cargo bay, and you just see these completely dumb, idiot, non-engineering types. Like, uh, so do we use a hyper spanner or a rubber mallet? Like, what? How do we put this together? And they're just looking around at each other, super confused as the ship is shaking violently from the constant attack. I am uh, going to the security office, and is there a way to put red alert on through that? I'm going to use what knowledge I have of engineering to try to direct these cargo attacks. Okay. Uh, let's see if you can try to get these guys at le to at least cut down on the time it would take to build one yeah. for uh, Drac. It says control engineering. Uh, yep. That, uh, control. No, insight. Give me insight. Because you're not. Insight. Yeah, you're just kind of. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, no complication focus, range right. of three, uh, challenge dice of one. One, okay. Yeah. And uh, this is no focus, correct? No focus. Yeah, you're just a cook. Okay. Oh, security officer. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, yeah, uh, he, you roll it. Uh, you, you definitely make it easier for Drac, but you make no progress in building this damn thing. Oh, well. Yeah, that's what the Starfleet logo means. It means I can just add an effect on there. But yeah, you just make it easier for him. Um, Mr. Drac, as you walk up to him, you see these idiots with wires and all kinds of other fucked up shit laying around. It looks like somebody took apart a computer and has no idea what they're doing. What the hell is this? Keep in mind, the ship is under attack. All right, well, I resist the urge to lecture them about how wrong they are as I do the dramatic... Whoa! Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> So, Captain, how was your trip outside the bridge? <laughs> he, 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 he you guys are this. like, yeah, you're trying to steer the ship, so... <laughs> I still gotta have small talk. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I, I threw the cargo text out the way and uh, began doing it myself, because anyone else would get it wrong, according to my values, so I'm gonna do it. Okay, um, give me a control roll, um, and give me an engineering roll, because you're not, you, you're not trying to tell someone how to do this. Uh, it's going to be complication range of two and challenge dice of two, uh, and you can use your focus. Uh, did you want to oh, use a momentum to not botch that? Sure. Okay, so that makes you guys down to just one momentum. Okay, you guys have one more momentum left. Yeah, you're going to need them. Um, but don't I use don't I earn a momentum from my little Star Trek logo? No, that's an added effect. So basically, uh, it means that I can just add extra on top of whatever you rolled. Um, so now that you you have you've turned on the beak you've turned on the buoy and you seem to have it ready but now you need to launch it. You have no launcher on this ship. Uh do we have where's the nearest uh airlock? That would be the top of the cargo airlock if you look at the diagram underneath the top left photo there. You can see there's a cargo airlock at the top of the ship. All right, I'm going to toss it in there and do the You got to take the elevator up. <laughs> This, so is a, this is an intense moment, you guys. Got to take this thing up there. All right, I'm going to yell at the cargo text to uh, very carefully pick up this doodad I just rigged. Okay. Who wants uh, a body massage? Yeah, they, they start to pick it up, and the elevator uh, clicks on and starts to slowly rise up through the top of the thing. Meanwhile, on the bridge, uh, Captain, you guys are under attack, but you hear another uh, hail coming in. I'm just going to boat straight to you. I'm trying to drive. Okay, yeah, and I'll then freak, immediately yeah. it just comes right up there on screen, uh, oh. and it's this is Chancellor Gitak of the of the Klingon fleet. Who am I speaking to? Uh, the captain of the ship that kicked the shit out of your guys who were awful at war. Hmm, yeah. I've heard. Give him a high five. But it seems yeah, like your own people down. are attacking you, Captain. Uh, that would that would be true, yes. So, uh, can I be on the bridge? Well, you have something of ours. You are of no consequence to us. So we're just going to 
Take it. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, last guy who said that exploded. So these four Klingon ships are slowly drawing in closer. And it's like, you know, I could always use whatever you have in your cargo hold. Prepare to be boarded. And then he cuts off the thing. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. we're... Are going to be aboard <laughs> yeah uh as you guys are rising up on the elevator four red uh like transporter like things appear around you and it's klingons holding uh batlets they don't have uh their weapons or the little oh and they start attacking uh the the chef they start attacking drac and they start attacking ross uh the other uh three cargo techs are trying to take down one but they're having trouble uh so ross uh and uh, let's see, Ross, Italian, and uh, Drac, give me a daring, uh, security, complication range three, challenge dice two for everyone, and you can use your focuses because all three of you have hand to hand, I think. Except right, and uh, I will buy another d20. What does that do? Does that take it up to uh, yeah, three. challenge three? Yeah, three challenge dice. Nice Good job, everybody. Yeah. So. The Italian takes out his <laughs> switchblade and he slices up the first Klingon, drawing blood on the ground. <laughs> Ro many things yeah, short, Ross Campbell. Like a Ross life. Campbell does a, uh, a a drop kick off the top ropes and knocks the other <laughs> Klingon right off the cargo bay uh, elevator from the first cargo hold, and he lands on the th uh, third cargo hold floor with a loud thud. The uh, other one that uh, Drac, did you roll? Yeah. yeah, I rolled the same as uh, Paulito. Yeah, you you uh, take your incredible strength, you lift him up over your head, you go, Oh yeah! And you throw him over the edge, and he, <laughs> as he's going down, remember that scene from the Titanic as he's like going to hit like the fucking fan on the way down? It's the same thing, he hits like a see. fucking shelf, and he goes, and he hits the bottom <laughs> of the thing. Um, they're, the other cargo techs are having trouble with the other two that, uh, the other guy. Apparently he's like a bigger Klingon. He's like, <laughs> and so he punches one of the cargo techs and he goes off with a Wilhelm scream like, ah, off the side of the fucking edge. And then he turns How around. I that, man. Nobody punches cargo techs but me. I'm going to kick his ass. Okay. Uh, so you go up to run up at him. You guys are going to give me a complication range. Same rolls, uh, but it's going to be a complication range of four. Buy another D20 for another threat. Okay. Stop stacking threat! Well, it's okay. Alright, everybody else is gonna roll that, or are you just gonna have Ross do the fighting? Let's see. Yeah, I'll fight. I'll, I'll go cut to them the fuck up. Yeah, it's complication range 4. Same roll you did before. Uh, I'm gonna drop take one of them. Dropkick! Hiya! Yeah. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, I meant to do the first one. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, Mr. Italian, you run up and you do your switchblade thing. Instead, he, uh, the Klingon knocks it right out of your hand and does, like, one of those, Fuck. like, face palm punches. He's like... Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, Mr. Ross, uh, you go to do the drop kick on this guy, um, and you do succeed, but he doesn't stumble and he just laughs at you. Um, Drac, you go to punch this guy. What did you say you drop kick? Who said it was drop kicking? Who said it was punching? What's your attack? Oh, Drac. Drac's the drop kicker. Yeah, Drac, you drop kick him and he just laughs. He barely stumbles. Ross, you attack him how? Uh, karate chop. Uh, you karate chop and you definitely do some sort of damage as he goes, Oh, fuck! And he, uh, lands back <laughs> onto his, uh, his ass, but he's still a tall dude. Um, so now that he's on his ass, you guys can do a complication roll of two, um, and the same exact challenge roll. Alright, I'm gonna do the MMA thing, and, uh, I'm gonna put a dent in his forehead with my knee. Okay. And I'm gonna do it. Such peaceful music. I'm gonna do a belly flop on him. Yeah. Wow. Using my mighty tolerate girth to, right. uh, smooth. <laughs> okay, uh, and Ross also rolled that, no? Yeah, I, I rolled. I only okay. got an effect die rather than um, a success. And are you going to do anything, Mr. Italian Man? Uh, I'm nice going to fight it hand to hand. Okay. Said, that was a that was a, my father a straight razor. <laughs> you pay for this. <laughs> so complication range two. All right. Oh, all right. Hold on one sec. Let me get my <laughs> snitch. 
How many of these die? Uh, yeah, Drac, you belly flop right onto this guy, and it definitely did some damage, and he's, like, right on the edge of the thing, but he rolls around and gets right back up. The other two do absolutely no damage whatsoever to him, and he's, like, stumbling a little bit, but he's near the edge. You guys can all try to push him off with the same exact rolls you just gave me. All right. Do I have my phaser back? Do you have what? My phaser back? No, you left it down on the first floor. When you were working on this uh, thing, you were in a rush. It was like an attack, so you're like, yeah, exactly. All right, I'm gonna do the uh, Donkey Kong wind up punch and then let him have it. Yeah, I just, I just give him the mean right hook. Okay, mean right hook, mean right, yeah. All three of you guys take and do the closed hand fist thing all at the same time, hitting different parts of his body. <laughs> And he goes flying back Tarantino style right off the side of this yeah, there's elevator. Like an individual shot for every punch. Yeah, exactly. And he, he goes flying <laughs> off and he goes, <laughs> But you don't hear a thud. Have a nice trip. Uh, he's holding on to the elevator. Edge, isn't he? Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so up, uh, no, no, you guys hands. reached the cargo bay uh, door. So right up Wait, there on I the bridge. To get to my straight razor. Yeah, well, your straight razor is on the first floor now. <laughs> can I steal one of the Klingon swords? Um, yeah, you can pick up a battle. Yeah, um, you are in the cargo airlock. What do you guys do? And also, by the way, Captain, uh, up on the bridge, you, you're just like slowly losing. Uh, you're slowly losing pieces of your ship. You have people calling you left and right, screaming. What do you do? Yeah, I'm gonna respond back and scream back when I when when they call. I'm just gonna do the every channel. Ah! Click. Ah! <laughs> Click. Ah! Yeah, because your communication ah! officer is currently piloting, and you're the only communicate. Everyone's just trying to talk to you right now. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say, look, get that fucking buoy out, or uh, Taco Tuesday is fucking canceled. Okay. You ben heard him, you cargo goons. Put it in the airlock. Yeah, they they put it in the airlock, and the doors are starting to open. Over on the Klingon ship, you guys are heading up to the bridge, um, where you're going to try to turn on uh, the weapon of the ship. Yes. Okay. So uh, you power up the weapons, uh, Mister Slar. Give me a. Uh, control engineering, uh, complication range of three, uh, challenge dice of two, and uh, no focus. No focus. No focus. Control engineering, complication two. Mm hmm Challenge two. Challenge dice two. No yep. focus. To get the Roger, Roger. to get the ship ready to be uh, combat ready again. Uh, you get the ship online, but the weapons are not charged. Uh, so the <laughs> ship starts powering up. And uh, now you guys are also under attack because they detected your ship. You can run over to the tactical console and start hitting buttons. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like buttons. Fuck it. I'll do that. Okay, so you're running over to the tactical uh, section of the ship, and uh, you start hitting uh, a bunch of buttons. Give me a control and security. Um, complication range three, challenge dice of two, uh, and yes, use a focus. Do we have engines? Can I uh, take the helm and evasive maneuver? Yeah, one sec. Let me see his roll. Oh, shit. You guys gain momentum back for that, motherfucker. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, you get you power up the weapons somehow. You just start pressing a bunch of buttons and uh, over and over again, just... <laughs> and then the weapons just go in cling on. <laughs> weapons are on. Um... <laughs> Or, or it's like a, a like a sexy Klingon lady, like the weapons are on, darling. Um, and oh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, and then, Mister Grekek, I need you to take and give me a uh, con uh, and control. This is gonna be complication range one and uh, no focus. Or yes, use a focus on this and challenge dice of three. You have flown one of these before. Oh. Oh, Whoa! I don't, you know, I've never, I didn't really know what to do with that. So I'm just going to assume that you take control and you fly That's this thing way, you fly this thing way better than uh, a certain Tellerite. Um, <laughs> so he, you start maneuvering around <laughs> all of the different the shots that are coming at you. The Federation are shooting at you. The Klingons are shooting at you now. Uh, everything is kind of going into chaos. Meanwhile, over on the Essus, on the bridge... Um, it's definitely just a surgeon. Uh, yeah. You're getting a you're getting a call from the cargo airlock, and it's uh, Mr. Drac. 
all right, I'm going to hit what's left of the console and see uh, what comes up. Mr. Drack, you're on. All right, so uh, we got the thing loaded up. Yeah, and we'd fire it now. All right, open up the exterior cargo hat or the exterior airlock now. And I smack the button to let it shoot out. Yeah, you, you get sucked out into space. No, you, you start yelling at them to open the door. And what happens is that they go, uh, Sir, the, the doors, they're jammed. We can't get them open. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best uh, way to get a door open when you can't? It was good it. working with you. All right, everybody, hold on to something. What are you gonna oh, do? No, I hold on to the small children asking for their dad. <laughs> <laughs> I now have armor. No one. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow! Well, that got dark quick. Okay, yeah, you it, it was either the baby armor or the kitten armor, and there were no kittens around, so I just worked with what I had. Yeah, give me a second. Oh, I have to tell me something. Oh, yeah, I'll just tell you. Uh, Helmut, if you want to while he's doing that, could you go ahead and give me a security control roll and uh, give me a challenge dice of three? Uh, complication of three. Complication three, and that's a... Alright, so which yep. door is jammed? The interior yep. airlock or the exterior airlock? Oh, uh, you needed three dice there, Mr. Uh, Helmet, so do, do it again, but this uh, time with three dice. Yeah, so, uh, so with the airlock, uh, what did you say there, Mr. Drac? Uh, is it the exterior or interior airlock that's jammed? It's the interior. Oh, I thought it was the exterior. Like, I was gonna, uh... All right, I order the cargo text to uh, get what, because in typical Star Trek fashion, you know, we can never whatever we can to pry open the uh, door, be it with like long bars of rebar or whatever. And holy shit, that was a good roll. Uh, yeah. Uh, you wow. order the cargo text to do that. Oh, that's for Helmut. Yeah, Helmut shooting the uh, the shit out of the. Sh They're doing great on the Klingon ship. To the Klingon uh, ships that were attacking you guys just start floating away uh, from all the damage that they just caused with their uh, with their attacks. Meanwhile, uh, your ship is still being under attack. Uh, and uh, the cargo bay is starting to uh, buckle a little bit. The doors, um, you hear like a sucking noise for like a second. Mr. Uh, I, use, I use my money Tellerite muscles to help pry it open. Why you're standing next to the door? They're about to get sucked out of space. Oh, oh wait, wait. These are the interior doors. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 So, um, give me um, fitness and give me, uh, yeah, security is fine. And then make this a complication range of three. You can use a focus and give me two challenge die on that roll. Oh shit! You pry open, like, as try as much as you can, you finally push the fucking doors open, and the exterior door is now exposed. You can hear a bit of hissing because there's been phaser fire on the back of it, um, and uh, you hear from down below that a force field has just been activated since the cargo bay has now been completely decompressed. Uh, so now what do you do? The cargo uh, airlock's fine, it's just the, the cargo hold itself just decompressed. The ship is constantly falling apart. So, are, where are we at right now? Are we, like, we're at sea compressing? No, you guys are in the cargo airlock. You're fine. You, I just wanted to warn you that uh, this is a, a force field kicked on, so you can't go back down. All right, so what are our options? Like, we open the exterior airlock and get sucked out. We go back inside and we suffocate. No, you guys can, you can now open it, but you have to give me a roll of control engineering. Complication range two. Challenge roll uh, two. You have computers. All right, I'll do that. So you said control and engineering? Mm hmm All right, so I work my magic to open the exterior airlock and push the son of a gun out. Yep, the door's open. Uh, fortunately, everyone was on the force field side of everything. And let me see. Oh, shit, yeah. You... <laughs> uh, you launch the... The torpedo just kind of floats out into space, like, really... Like... And you just hear, like, the sound of a transponder kick on. I press my badge and I say, Captain. There's no badge. 
Oh, it's, I thought it's like beep, beep. it's not like. The oh, you want the charcoal? Beep. You want to pull, open up your uh, your 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 uh, yeah, not that. I was one. gonna. I was trying to communicate with the captain. Uh, for, for, what does the the original series not have like the communicator on the com badge? No, it's it's a little flip out flip phone. Now. Yeah, right, well, I flip out my flip phone and I say, uh, operations officer to captain, go, uh, buoy away. The captain says, well, it's in God's hands now. And he sits back in his chair and he goes, oh, God, we're fucked. Yeah, and as you say that, um, you just feel more attacks coming on your ship. And you get uh, a call back, sir, we've lost waste recovery! He's like, well, now we're really up shit creek. The engine section is completely dick- <laughs> As, uh, as the everyone on the ship seems to be, uh, there's holes. If you can imagine the ship right now, there's just giant massive holes all over it. And the only sections currently that have air um, are the cargo airlock, the bridge somehow, um, maintenance, uh, and the uh, and just the med bay. Everything else is completely decompressed right now. Your ship is currently barely flying. Um, and... Now, I'm going to give you one chance to do a recovery roll there, Mr. Uh, Orion. <laughs> Same exact roll of challenge dice. So you just hit that button again. Well. Yeah, uh, you continue okay, pressing buttons on the ship, and uh, you just you accidentally fire your phasers, and uh, <laughs> you, miss, you miss completely, and your phaser banks drain. Um, so you have no combat okay. abilities anymore. Um, and uh, Mr. Helmut did it. and everybody over there on the Klingon ship, your communications are up. Unfortunately Ooh. for the unfortunately for the SS, their communications are down. Ooh. As is most <laughs> of the ship. <laughs> the only people alive, and somehow the chef hasn't died, um, are in the cargo bag. I wouldn't, Jeff, I wouldn't boy have, like, uh, so old chef. school Enterprise era, like, that's not my name personnel or authentication know. codes, would I? But how can I help? You can send, no, you can ask anybody else in the room to send it if you don't know how to do Wait, that. Wait, do, do the Klingons have no. a transporter bay? Yes, you, they do. Hey, we should get uh, over there. <laughs> well, you guys don't want to leave the bridge. There's not exactly air, <laughs> and your transporters are. Oh, I was just going to communicate over to the engineer team. Like, hey, if anyone's on you that don't ship, don't have communication. Yeah, you guys. Don't, the SS doesn't have communications right now, so all you guys are oh. hoping and praying that that buoy will tell the, the Federation to fucking stop. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm just waiting on the response from the Klingon people to find out if that works. I'm gonna take. The, I'm gonna figure out. I'm kind of screwed, so I'll get up and go find my special stash of booze and just pour a glass for the captain. <laughs> so for dinner, cook. Um. Okay. So over on the Klingon ship, um, what are you guys gonna do? You notice that the SS is currently f uh, flying in circles for some reason, as if they don't know how to fly a ship. That's normal. <laughs> but do and we, Slar, do we you're, communications? you're Slar, you're currently standing behind uh, Boulder right now, who's in the captain's chair with his little uniform on, and uh, yes. almost like you're the first officer. And um, Helmut is currently firing all of the weapons onto the enemy Klingon ships, which are starting <coughs> to slowly disperse. Uh, and then, uh, Mister Grekek, what are you doing? Well, Hel Helmut wants me to check if there are comms. So I'm doing that. Um, not gonna have you roll we for that. Comms. They are. They're comms. Did you want to send a message? Yeah, maybe we should tell uh, the other ship how they, why they fly in the circles. Maybe they do something different. The ship looked pretty bad. Maybe they should come over here. The, yeah, they. They're. No. Yeah, I don't know if you know, but their communications are down. Yeah, but I'm still going to try. Okay, so you try to call over there. Um, and then you just sort of hear on the captain on the bridge. Hold on one second. Okay, cool. Um, so on your bri on the uh, captain, your communicator goes off. Oh, great. He, he opens it and he goes, yeah, what do you want? You're on with Grekak. Hello, captain. Hello. You are flying in circles more than usual. Yeah, the ship is uh, condition fucked, and there's more holes in it than my alibi, and uh, we're <laughs> about to die. The Klingon ship is doing quite well. Well, that's great to hear. We have some great booze. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, yes. Kind of, kind of nudges him, and he's like, maybe say, get transporter, come here, maybe. Yes. W so would you so like to? We we might be able to find some alcohol over here. He just kind of sighs, and he goes, "Can we make the Federation stop shooting before we start trying to beam people?" Yeah, uh, I th I was maybe. gonna suggest something like that, but it's your game. He's like, please contact the Federation fleet. They're not <laughs> listening to us. <laughs> Quick question. What happened to the changes I did to the uh, special technology thing? Yeah, did that completely go up? Hits up? Yeah, no, you you disabled the transponder. They just you, The reason why their damage is because the clans are attacking them. Oh, I... Yeah. Oh, so this, the... The, 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 ba the beacon... The was still pounding, too. Right, the beacon stopped the Federation from attacking, and also the beacon you disabled stopped the Federation from attacking. So, oh, so we have... These both happened at the same... Roughly around the same time. Okay, Captain, I will uh, call you back <laughs> later. And I, I hang up on him and start uh, uh, calling, hailing one of the uh, Federation. And one of the Federation guys picks up, um, and he's like, Identify yourself! Who is this? This is Grakek of the... Yes, uh, sir! S's. Uh, we, Who? We are, we, are fed <laughs> we, we are Federation. Uh, uh, Gorn Exchange Student! Federation. <laughs> yes. There's a Federation we ship. Sir, there's a Federation ship on sensors. Federation ships. Stop firing. Go on. Oh my god, we've been firing on our own people. Turn these yes. ships around, attack those Klingon warships, get them out of our sector. Alright, we'll get yes, somebody we, over we, there. We, we. And then you get... Uh, what, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, they did Well, we, we had no idea. Uh, what are your casualties? Um, many. Many. Um, we, we will need many supplies and uh, uh, assistance and maybe a new ship. And just as you say that, a uh, a Constitution class ship just warps in. Oh no! Yeah, and it's it's somebody that the captain remembers. It's the <laughs> Starfire, and he starts firing at all of the remaining Klingon ships with its uh, working weapons. <laughs> so you just hear like, and then you hear the Klingon uh, kind of send an all-out uh, message. It's like. Ah, you Federation fools! You may have won this day, but we will have ours. Get cock out! And he gets out. Yeah, get talk get just... His, his cock is out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Gitak uh, uh, and his uh, fleet seem to be limping away, licking their wounds. Something the Klingons aren't very fond of. And uh, Gitak just goes, I will remember you, Captain of the Esses. I will remember you until the day I die. Well, there won't yeah, be and, no and more the, and the captain is like, I can't even remember my name. <laughs> <laughs> um, Neither can I, Captain. Federation, like Federation all vessels, captains. there are there are many survivors on the S's, but its, no, it's really. structural integrity is not good. You should uh, launch boarding uh, uh, rescue party. Yeah, the Starfire contacts the uh, the uh, Essus, but he doesn't know if you can hear it. He's just sort of going like, Ca Captain, Captain, Captain Horatio, listen, we're detecting very few life signs aboard your ship. I don't know if you can hear this, but you're okay now. We'll be over to rescue you and your crew in a moment. Oh, that's how you fly it. I was doing the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you take control of the ship again. Yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna lean over uh, to Ryan. He's gonna go. Now would be a really good time to wipe that computer. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, so as the Starfire uh, clears out the Klingon warships, um, we're just gonna kind of fast forward through time here a little bit. Um, all the guys in the cargo bay, uh, you did not die, not yet anyway. Um, <laughs> somehow the chef, the red shirt chef, did not get hit, meet his end. Um, and uh, the the entire crew and everybody's just sort of standing in the cargo bay. bay. Uh, everything's a little disheveled. Most of the ship is kind of like in shambles. And uh, there's a bunch of engineering crews from the Starfire trying to get things back together. Uh, and the captain of the Starfire and Captain Horatio are sort of standing next to each other. And the captain looks over at you. He's like, well, it looks like you've been through a hell of a scrape. Yeah, our own fleet blew me up. I captured a Klingon vessel. Oh, sorry about that. You know, these things happen. Just weird how the Klingons come up with this technology. Uh, now that we have their ship, we'll, 
We'll definitely be able to turn this war. I bet they're going to pin a medal on your chest when we get back to command. And he just shrugs and he's like, another day, another dollar. I hate to break right, this we'll to you, Captain, but unfortunately you've all been ordered back to Starbase. Not for your ship, but it appears that your actions are coming under question. There's an inquiry. I don't have to remind you of the kind of work we do out here. I'm on your side on this. Trust me. This kind of shit is bullshit. And I understand that if you need any help, well, I'll have your back. He says, thanks. I'll need it. By the way, did you find that treasure? Uh, we couldn't find anything. The space station was just completely missing. As if somehow it's... I don't know how to explain it. My science officer said something about a warp bubble formed around it and flew away. I don't Baseball. know. Got it. Yeah, it was all kind of weird. It, all I could find was a few bodies and debris. So not something definitely happened, and we are missing a ship now. I've been ordered to do a search for it, but I'll be quite honest with you, Captain. I'm not sure if we're going to find anything. Although this is quite the haul for you. You're going to take this ship back, and hopefully uh, everything will work out in your favor. Let me know if you ever need anything. I got you back. Uh, he keeps saying that for some reason. Like, he's like, he, it's clear that he likes, he, he's like, this, this is like, he wants to, to a piece of this action. A piece of the action. Yeah. He's he, like, I, I'll, I'll note it in my log that you rescued us and set everything right. But remember, I did everything that was necessary up to this point. <laughs> so everyone's the sitting there. No records, he's completely right. So sitting here in the cargo Perfect. hold, everyone, including the chef and, and the, the, the command, everyone's just kind of sitting around um, watching the crews work on your ship. And so what do you guys say to each other? Everyone's everyone's in this room right now. Yeah, Puzzle the captain top. just yells, get the funk back to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starved. What's for dinner, Cookie? The kitchen explodes. <laughs> We all and like no, yeah. freeze frame the kitchen freeze frames as the sparks are flying across the screen and everyone looks terrified. No. Except for the, except for the teller who's just laughing like ho oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. so for dinner we have uh, the wine. Just the wine. Just wine? <laughs> Everything else is 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 kill. Works for me! <laughs> and just a, just as he says uh, there's I, I, wine... Give me, the back. give me a minute. Just as he I'm says... Gonna, I want to try to cook, whip something up with what's available. Oh, sorry, in sorry. the cargo bay? You're going to cook in the cargo bay? Because your oh, kitchen's destroyed? Out. I'll fucking like, run a current through like some broken wires to heat okay. up a, pan, a water if I have to. Just as you're setting something up, uh, like he's, he's like, I'll cook you guys something up. Just as he says that... <laughs> yeah, just as he says that, you look at his chest, and a giant knife is right through it. <laughs> and there's a Klingon behind him, and he's like, "You forgot one, you fool!" So, oh, my dad. Yeah. yeah, you just see, you see, you see the chef like look down at the knife wound, and what do you say, chef? <laughs> Mama mia. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Everyone just laughs when you say "Mama Mia." <laughs> you are all the, the worst cruel ever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I fly into a rage because I was hungry and wanted wine, and go to pick up this Klingon. And I'm not even going to give you a challenge roll. What do you want to do to this guy? He's weakened. I just go, no, my wine! I pick up the Klingon with my mighty Tellerite strength and hurl him over the edge where he lands below with a loud thud. Yeah, you just, it's like that blue screen thing where they have the actor lay on a blue screen. He's like, ah, and he's kicking his feet up. He's like, ah. Um, and I go to him, Cookie, talk to me. Cookie. Yeah, the cook, Cookie. Cook, you're laying on the ground, ground and blood is uh, coming up out of your mouth. Hit him with boulder. Medical to cargo. I think I'm my own myself. He sees a pasta sauce. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm by a can of like we have no, sauce The captain has given me his orders. I load a hyper spray with pasta sauce. Medical. <laughs> this is cargo. Do you copy? <laughs> There's no, no medical. The rest of the ship is still getting. Yeah, no you medical. guys are all in the cargo no hold together. Everyone's captain. in the. Beep. I got bad news, sir. You're all in the cargo hold together. <laughs> Everyone's oh, okay. there. So the crew are still using the communicator. Yeah. Captain, <laughs> we're ten feet apart. How did I get here? 
Okay, so you're yeah. Talk to me, Cookie. I'm, 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 I'm holding him in my arms. Grkek, let's see if you can save Mr. Goat. You're gonna get a complication range of five, task roll, uh, or sorry, challenge roll of uh, one, and uh, you're gonna do a uh, daring and uh, medicine. And you're, yes, you can use a focus. Let's see if you can save Goat. Oh. Nope. It, <laughs> the, the using pasta what, injection, it did not work. Yeah, the pasta ingestion doesn't work, and you just see marinara sauce come out of the top of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but who's going to make dinner now? <laughs> yeah. I'm so hungry. And it, <laughs> Mr. Goat, what do you say as your last words as you're coughing up pasta sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Did you use a store brand? <laughs> <laughs> and then he dies. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. So, so, uh, well, we killed our red Raccoon. shirt. Good job. Yeah, your red shirt. Your red shirt died. I was. Uh, well, that was, I was my. Just looking down at this guy and says, "Man, what a typical Italian giving up." <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. Fuck. Uh, and then yeah. Um. You just see Daniel's laying on the ground near one of the uh, the boxes, and you just hear him go. <laughs> He's still alive somehow. Oh, Daniel! <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh Daniel! Daniel. <laughs> oh, Daniel! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, right now, uh, basically, that's the end of this act. You guys have figured out the uh, problem with the Klingons. You guys have basically s somehow salvaged. I d Mike's dice are broken. Um, I rolled like f three fives. I'm like, all right, fuck. Um, put that away. So, uh, yeah. So now that you guys have completed your mission, um, you're gonna head back to cling or to the star base. And here's a little sneak peek to the next episode. Okay, non sequitur time. Go. Let's oh, go. we have to come up with non sequiturs. Yeah, non sequiturs. Oh, okay. Everybody come up with stuff that's not going to happen in the next episode. Can we give the boulder feet? <laughs> Palladio will get his revenge. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Damn it, Captain. Yeah, you just the have... The red wire or the blue wire? <laughs> I don't have time to wear Red wire or blue wire? <laughs> Captain, his, his Never skeleton is made entirely out of I will hunt the ship. Oh, God, it's everywhere. Oh, it's God. It's being chased down the hallway by the ghost of the... What are my wheels on my chair? We should up! Yeah. Star makes the boulder captain. Yeah, so what actually happens on the next episode... I pull off my beard, revealing a fake beard. The crew will be undergoing an inquiry as to what happened in the attack uh, aboard the ship, and a lot of it's going to be based on the logs that Mr. Orion uh, will need to erase. Uh, which he has been, he's been tasking, he's been set up for that. I've been keeping tabs of how many you have to erase. Uh, and it's a lot of rolls, so we're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Pop them out real quick, just tell me when I'm rolling. Uh, not yet. I'm gonna, f I gotta figure out the logistics of it all first. Oh god, have you guys seen, uh, uh, Parks and Rank or Wants Wants? And it's like, I love, uh, government inquiries. And, and I just answer all their questions with another question. And I was, you could do that? No, here's the thing. It's funny. You guys are like, is it going to be a court episode? No, it's an inquiry. It's not a court. It's not a court episode. They're not being court-martialed or anything. That's yeah. weird. It's just an inquiry. Slar will be the lawyer. If you know anything That's about, if you know anything about uh, Star Trek, whenever you say, oh, no, it's just an inquiry. This is a formality. You know, it's something's fucking happening. Income? Yeah, well, and, well, and then you uh, end up. The, the, the boulder is like on the stand <laughs> oh. and it's just dead silence for 30 was, seconds and then one of the silence start, starts weeping <laughs> <laughs> the boulder won't crack under pressure boulder isn't a narc <laughs> the foundation of our argument <laughs> yeah, you just put the teller right up there because they can argue in circles so like the cows come home. He'll just wear down the uh, yeah. inquiry. I you just imagine the crew older. walking down the main hallway to a medal ceremony like the end of Star Wars. Yeah. And they put a medal on the boulder. <laughs> and Rod, we trust. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Um, or like the Simpsons yeah. where the Rod got like employee of the month. So, like, <laughs> I wonder if I can do. One of the hold on, let me see. I'm gonna pull this up really quick, really so quick before we go. The, they're not responsible for anything that happened in the Klingon ship because the Rock was in the captain's chair. 
Let's see if I can... Oh yeah, there you go! <laughs> And it just ends with, like, the captain hanging, like, oh, next episode. <laughs> On the next episode of Star Trek, of uh, Star Trek, the crew find themselves in an inquiry against Starfleet intelligence. Meanwhile, a plot is building in the interior. What will happen to them? Only you can find out in the next episode of Star Trek. And Drac puts on a play? Yeah, and Drac puts on a play, and he has, like, Alas, poor Yorick. <laughs> Will Boulder get the medal he deserves? He's trying to teach the Gorn how to act, but no, for the last time, it's to be or not to be! <laughs> exactly. Will the captain find out where his pants are? Find out on the next episode. The lion knows where the captain's pants are. Uh, Drax using him as a scarf as he directed. These and other quandaries. Yeah, um, so, we, Mr. Goat, sorry, died. I was gonna kill you at some point, and yeah, I was. No, I'm a red shirt. I, I, I have to die. It would, it would have been something hilarious eventually. Go like, bed. all right, boys, no big deal. Yeah. And then a box falls off a shelf and just. <laughs> 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 I wanted to have that Klingon come back, but I'm like, no, nah, I'm just gonna k get rid of him now. So I, yeah, I was like, all right, sacrificing the goat, you know, to the fucking. The sacrificial goat. The sacrificial goat to the dice gods. Michael, your dice are fucking fantastic, dude. I'm not shitting on your dice, but I just had really bad rolls tonight. You guys got away with a lot, because I had all these threats that I was using, and I'm like, five? Really? Okay. And then Helmut, like, with his master fucking shooty gun bullet thing that he was doing on the ship. Um, so, uh, yeah, the next episode, uh, we'll meet back here and we'll do another thing it'll be like a bunch of inquiry stuff uh it's definitely gonna be like a space station episode um did you guys want to say anything before we go Con! just come only on. you can prevent forest fires good night guys thanks for I'm, watching yeah i'm truly honored how much boulder has fallen into people's hearts uh it is amazing <laughs> yeah madness all right well yeah, thank you guys for playing with me and, and uh, putting up with my insanity. And uh, yeah, for that, I'm just going to go ahead and end the stream. You guys have a good night. I appreciate everything you guys do. Uh, I don't want to fucking close the thing. I, all I could do is just compliment until the stream closes. Wait, we're being recorded? Will the court ever sing Klingon opera? Who knows? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Right, see you guys later. Yeah. You guys have a good one. See you later.